Footy forecast. And there we see the score, 16. Tony, I've been flashing for four weeks now. <laughs> Some would say 20 years, Tony, but anyway. And Jars isn't up there, so we're not Where's playing. Where's tips? Well, hey. you, you can start this week, all right? <laughs> a, little, a, little, a little known footy fact, too, before we go. Former Hawthorne star Michael Tuck is the only VFL, AFL player ever to have had a dry biscuit named after him. Nice Finn Captain. Finn Captain. Oh, oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right, thanks to Lewis Martin, our creative guru. We'll see you next week. Sevens Football Telecast, proudly brought to you by Amy. Lucky you're with Amy. Mitre 10, the store that saves you more. Herald Sun and TAC, 10Ks less will save lives. sits and waits. Pass me if you can. The longest road for Richmond is the one stretching way out west. At its end, football's human roadblock. Tormenting tigers for these eagles is a 14-year habit the locals find impossible to kick. If there's a new resolve at Hunt Road, if these new tigers are the real deal, they must find a way through tonight. His burden is heavy, and for Richmond, the times of near enough being good enough are surely a thing of the past. It could be the defining match for the Tigers this season as we welcome you to Subiaco. It's been a beautiful day in Perth. Big crowd building up. Friday night football. It's the Eagles and the Tigers. Welcome to Robert Walls. Hello, Bruce. It's a tough trip, this one, and the Tigers have found it really hard over the years, haven't they? Well, they have. Haven't had a win here. It's the hardest road trip of all. Greatest distance and a different time zone. Yes, Norton 7. They played the very first match here in 1987, yet their recent form is pretty good. Both teams boast young guns in Ottens and also Gardner. Looking forward to that clash. Both in the ruck, both can take a contested mark, and that's becoming a rarity nowadays. Well, the West Coast Eagles and the Tigers are both out there at the moment. We saw Ottens and here's Gardner, and I think we're in a position to go down and join Adrian Barrett, who's on the boundary line, who has the coach of the West Coast Eagles with him, Ken Judge. Thanks, Bruce. Yes, Ken Judge, thanks for joining us. Uh, a bit of blow losing Ashley McIntosh on the eve of the game. Yeah, look, it was. He was just a bit sore in the calf, so we, uh, sorry, in the quad, so we just had to pull him out. I mean, it's an injury that he may have got through with, but we just can't afford to take the risk. What are your options for Matthew Richardson now? Oh, well, you know, we've got Jakovic, we've got Carroll, we've got, you know, uh, Troy Wilson can play back, so we've got a, you know, we've still got a few options options up our sleeve, so we'll just have to make it work uh, as best we can. It's going to be a tough one. Thanks for joining us on 7. Bruce, back to you. Thanks, Barry. So that's the big news from Ken Judge, Robert, that probably Carroll to go back, McIntosh out. I think that'll be the way it goes, Bruce, and that'll put uh, Wilson up to centre-half forward. Trent Carroll, he came from the Dockers. He'll be able to do the job there. He's tall and athletic. Across half-back, look out for Morrison. He's been in terrific form. So too Peter Matera. 
In the midfield, Ben Cousins. I think he'll be tagged by Duncan Callaway. Across half forward, Troy Wilson. Big shoulders, big mark. Very good player. And on the full forward line, Scotty Cummings comes in at full forward. He'll be on the lead. And in the ruck, the young gun, uh, Michael Gardner and Drew Banfield, the veteran. And coming into the interchange is Greg Harding with Miranda also, the ex-Tiger. So that's the West Coast. Carroll coming in for McIntosh, the late change. No change to the Tigers line. There's Troy Wilson, 29 years of age. We are looking forward to seeing him. Well, he's a big, strong boy, and I saw him a couple of weeks ago. He took 15 marks. The Richmond lineup, Darren Gasper at fullback, well, all Australian last year. He may well play out across the half back line. Duncan Callaway, I think, will tag. And then across half back, Andy Callaway, hard, tough, strong. He'll be good. Hilton's in terrific form, been playing across half back. Tivendale getting a lot of it. Matthew Richardson, most contested marks in the competition to date. And look at the two big fellas on the full forward line, Holland and Gale. In the ruck, Young Ottens, and of course, the two veterans in Campbell and Knights. Great night for Paul Broderick. He's 150th for the Tigers, 243rd all up. A job well done. And there's the lineup, no change at all. Now, the red hot. Half a dozen over the last two weeks for the Eagles have been really impressive, haven't they? Well, they've been in good form. They've won their last two games. Ben Cousins has been terrific in the midfield. Matera, career best form. Gardner, watch him in the ruck at the centre bounces. Morrison across halfback gets plenty of it. Banfield hard and tough in the middle. And Troy Wilson becoming a cult figure. He is. He's kicked plenty of goals and taken plenty of marks. We'll take a break. Back with Ben Allen and the opening bounce right after this. Imagine winning. A block of land with a new Metricon home yes. on it. So you'll never have to make a mortgage repayment again, ever. The $250,000 Smile for Life giveaway. Every day in your paper, The Herald Sun. Beacon Lighting's huge catalogue sale is now on. We're showing off the latest releases on classic lights, on modern lights, and on lots more. But you're better off seeing for yourself. Call on 131 595. Beacon Lighting makes light work. Stasera sono a casa, così mi faccio una pasta asciutta veloce. Con questo sono pronto della... Legos. Cuoci la pasta e aggiungi la salsa mescolando bene. Questo sì che è un bel inizio. Ecco fatto. È così ricco di sapore che non bisogna aggiungere proprio niente. Per tre o quattro persone. O una. Lego stir through pasta sauce. All you do is stir it through. Get online with AOL and our unique welcome screen will make finding what you want on the internet easy. From news and weather, to money, even love. Some internet companies just sign you up and leave you to it. But with AOL, we help you find your way around. To get online, call now on 1800 265 265 or visit aol.com.au. AOL. Could Australia have its own ancient city? This has to be one of the best. It all begins with an amazing journey across the Gulf of Carpentaria and ends up in The Lost City. A premiere special, Travel to The Lost City, Saturday. Watch your team right where you are now. Round five. Last week's shock winners, the Adelaide Crows and the Kangaroos. They're desperate for points. Saturday, 7.30. Welcome back to Subiaca. Wayne Campbell's won the toss and the Tigers will kick to the left to the city end. Welcome to Ben Allen. Ben, great to have you on board for Friday night footy. And uh, McIntosh is a big blow. I wonder who's going to get Richardson now. Yeah, it looks like Trent Carroll's wandering down that way. It's a huge blow. Uh, McIntosh has been in outstanding for playing on Modra last week and kept him very, very quiet. On that basis, I'm changing my tip, Bruce. I reckon Tigers, simply because I think the Eagles lack a few tall defenders. Ben Cousins is, was a key last week late in the game. Yeah, he's been outstanding. Look, there's a number of players that can get him. Maybe Zilla, Duncan Calloway is obviously the uh, the human blanket, as they call him, so expect him to get a run with him tonight. Well, Barra, big news. We've already broken it that uh, no McIntosh with Ken Judge. Yeah, terrible blow. Could be fatal for the Eagles. The only other news, Bruce, is that Greg Harding has come in for him, and Greg Harding broke his cheekbone last weekend playing for Claremont, so it's a big effort by Greg Harding. Bruce, I think it's going to be a great game. Back to you. We're looking forward to it, uh, Adrian, as we're about to start Friday Night Football at Subiaco. The Tigers will be a regular feast on Friday Night Football this year, and it's our one game out of Perth for the season. Callaway, first possession, no disposal, but it comes to Chaffee from Campbell. A probing kick to full forward. We'll put it at the back. 
What a damaging player he can be from the back pocket. Rogers with him, boundary throw in. And a good contest there by Matthew Rogers. That's one of his strengths. As a forward, he's one of the best tacklers in the competition, and uh, he works hard to lock the ball in. Cummings and Wilson both starting deep at full forward for the Eagles. Wide open uh, forward line for them, but that's at the other end of the ground. Peter Matera over the back. Good tackle there on Fletcher. Handball by Bowden, back to Campbell, second possession. He sits it up neatly to full forward. Well played, well ponder. I think Rogers fancied himself a bit there. Broderick has been uh, given the honour of starting. Cheeky little handball inside. Back to Broderick, could he kick a goal? Just blazes it a bit, in fact, misses the lock. Uncharacteristically, out of bounds on the fall. Well played by Wirpunda, just to get back and put some pressure on Rogers. One thing that uh, David Wirpunda can get in trouble a little bit, he can get goals kicked on him. Rogers certainly a goal kicker, he's hard as well. So out to half back, Gail front spot. Gardner was at the back, Campbell's been good early to Hilton. Hilton just sets it up, they're looking for this tall forward line. Front spot, uh, good knock away there, the front spot Rogers, and then Campbell, wide handball, okay, Broderick getting involved, back to Bowden, we know he's a long kick, goes really short and tight, and Callaway takes a beauty down low. And Duncan Callaway has the tagging job on Ben Cousins, he'll dish it off. And gives to Bowden, and Bowden's oh. kicked a goal. And it's a great play, because Duncan Callaway couldn't have kicked a goal from that position, he's not a long kick, and that's just smart footy, give it to the player who's got the distance in the leg. Stewie Jew like wasn't it in a way I mean that's what Port have been doing with Jew this year they have got some outstanding uh, skilled players in their team Richmond a lot of them are left footers I reckon they've got about seven or eight left footers which makes them a little bit awkward to play on you just don't know where they're going to turn occasionally the left footers have all something about them bowed an outstanding kick only off a couple of steps so the first goal to the Tigers Campbell's been important early So a goal to the Tigers here through Bowden. Rangy left footer kicking it from 50. After Ottens does the centre bounce ruck work, he goes to centre half forward and Gale does the ruck work around the ground. Gardner got over the top of him. Fletcher looked almost a throw, getting it out to Cousins. Banging it forward to half forward. Ben Holland playing down back. He's on Cox. He's playing at the uh, centre half forward position. Gets it to Gasper. Good smother though by uh, Phil Matera. Boundary throw and keeps it in the 50 metre arc. We guess we got the job on Troy Wilson, so you've got a very, very strong player in Wilson against a guy who's very quick off the mark. So Holland and Cox here. Cox, the teenager, has uh, made an impression. Back to Cousins. Cousins sits it up. Wilson with his pace over the top. Trying to get involved with the back. Miranda at half forward, chips into centre half forward about 20 metres away from goal down low, Gardner got back, Campbell fourth position, boy hasn't the captain started all right, gets it out wide to Hamble, he just had to sit and wait a bit, Kellaway gets it back to Ben Holland, some confidence by the Tigers down back as he kicks to Watkins and a terrific mark at full stretch they held up well didn't they the, the Richmond defence, the Eagles are throwing everything at him but it's a good sign Ottens to centre wing with Pundra over the back of uh, Rogers. That's going to be a pivotal duel, a boundary throw in. If uh, Matty Rogers has one fault, it's that he lets the ball come onto his chest. He just needs to get his arms up to take that football. If he lets it comes on, come onto his chest, Wirra Pundra will get the fist on it every time. So Richardson playing out of the goal square for the Tigers and Carroll with him after McIntosh withdrew before the match. Chittendale yeah. on the left. They've set it up well, well here now. R uh, Richardson wants it long and hard and Chappie's kicked it beautifully to him. Gee, he had a lot of space. I know a lot of players converged on that ball, but Richmond have set up a very, very open forward line for Matty Richardson. One out with Trent Carroll. It's uh, Look, without McIntosh down there, Rob, it all, already looks like it's going to cause the Eagles some problems. Yes, and two Richmond left footers brought the ball into the forward 50. So Richardson... 30 metres out, not a tough angle, kicks the goal, they've got two. The blue lake's what yeah. we ordered, wasn't it? We'll do the trim. Yeah. If you've ever yeah, taken right. on a big job around the house... Well done. It's on plaster and there are holes. You'll know that getting the right advice... Got to start with that. ...is what really saves brand. your money. It's good value and there's a great range of colours. And a whole lot more. They're washable. Um, they come in a whole range of colours also. Because the only thing better than knowing you did it yourself... <laughs> ...is knowing how much you saved. That was a left footer everywhere. So... So two goals to zero here. Richardson and Bowden, the goal scorers. 
Gardner and Ottens. Ottens wins it, goes through Chappie's legs. Banfield well played to Morrison. Good kick. Marinda. Wouldn't he love to kick three or four tonight and be in a winning team? Too far for Phil Matera. Tawny at the back. Back to Andrew Killaway. Ran out, I think. In fact, it's going to come back. Wasn't a great kick from Miranda there. Phil Matera clearly had a, a metre and a half there on Tawny. And I reckon that's one area that also West Coast can expose Richmond. Tawny hasn't been in fantastic nick this year. Cox and Holland. Real wrestle. Free kick going to Holland against Cox. And that's a good matchup because Ben Holland's played mainly as a forward in his career with the Tigers, but he can easily go back and play tall on Young Cox, who's around about uh, 200 centimetres. Straight down the middle, Broderick the target, poor kick by Holland. The funny move that one, I reckon, at the moment, having Cox at centre-half forward. They're obviously trying to expose uh, Richmond for height down there. So here's Wilson. You can see the angle behind kick. him. Good kick to Cummings. I did that a couple of times last week, uh, Bruce. We know Cummings didn't play a huge, uh, um, didn't get a huge amount of time in the game, but he dished off a couple to Cummings, and they've already showed a, that they've got a, a good understanding uh, amongst each other because they haven't played much footy together. Do you think that Cummings will be on the lead most of the night, Ben? I think they've got to keep him back there. I think Wilson's just a little bit more mobile. I do think Cummings is a one-position player still. Full forwards his go. It's a big kick for him here, isn't it? I mean, first one of the night. It can really set the scene for him throughout the evening. We know that Wilson's had some problems shooting for goal. Cummings, very much a confident kick. We are right behind him. He's missed it. It's his 40th game tonight for the Eagles, so he matches his record at Essendon in terms of, mat uh, of games played and a few, just a few more than he played at Port Adelaide. So three times a leading goal kicker at three different clubs. Cameron, normally a great kick, no exception. It's gone too far, Bruce. He's gone out of the square. Boy, oh, oh, what a difference that makes. I mean, Bitterscombe's got a mark at half back to centre wing, and suddenly it's going to be a bounce 10 metres out. Well, it's cost him at least 100 metres, and it puts the ball in a dangerous spot. Let's have a look. We're looking from behind here. He stopped and propped. Yep. Well over, over wasn't he? Well over. It's a good call. Interesting uh, matchup. Uh, Richmond have got Broderick at half forward on Morrison, who's been getting plenty of ball this season. Not a great bounce. Gail Gardner just had to get over his back. Oh, scooped out to Gardner. It was a throw from Cox. It'll be called a throw. No goal. Crowd unhappy with that. I think they thought it was their first goal, Ben. Well, it came out in a big hurry, and it did look a throw. So a couple of courageous umpiring decisions in the last moment or two. Now, is that 50? I think... Uh, no, it's OK. The umpire spoke to Mark Miranda off the off the ball then, but uh, I thought he was going to get 50. Long, high kick to centre wing. Oh, good, Mark Wilson. So he does get into the uh, field of play, doesn't he? He's, two of his marks have been up around the centre. And Gaspar's not easily outmarked, is he, Bruce? He's, um, he's very, very good one-on-one, -on -one, particularly on the lead, but uh, Troy Wilson showing his strength. The kick to uh, Gardner. At the back was Gale. Bouncing ball. Georgie had a chance there. Fletcher now gets back. Reasonable kick to the front goal. Miranda. Relax. The Mitsubishi BRX is the quickest magnet ever. With a 163 kilowatt. 3.5 litre V6 and sports mode transmission. The Mitsubishi Magna VRX goes like a shot. It is Mitsubishi. So one, one to two goals. I think there's a blood rule here. Is it Miranda coming yeah, it off? Is. Yep. Saw the bandage around his uh, head and also chin. And Williams getting ready. So Miranda with a goal. So uh, the Tigers and West Coast have had some great battles over the last few years, but remember that they're yet to win here against West Coast in Perth. Though on the road last year, they won in Brisbane, Sydney and Western Australia against Fremantle. There's Marinda on his way out. I like the matchup of Bowden and, uh, and Peter Matera on the half-back line. Both very, very skillful players can do a lot of damage with a small amount of possessions. So the gap closes to five points here. Bad bounce, Gale caught up. 
Bittiscan went to ground, just tries to get the ball through. It does come out to Banfield. Banfield, Cousins has had plenty of it early. Banks it to set a half forward. Holland against the flow. Well done in the end. Hamble okay. Gasper just had to sit, wait, prop. He's in trouble. No, he's not. He played it very well. Not great defensive work by the forwards by the West Coast Eagles on that occasion. G. Broderick's hands were certainly slick. To Bittiscan. Back to Tivendale. Left footer. Just got it in time. Okay to Bowden. Back to Kellaway. All those left footers. Terrific smother Matera. They're on here if he can get it. The head gardener all on his own. I think he spent it first up. Ball comes out. An important one to win. Campbell gets it back to Gale. Or too high. Bowden okay. Tivendale just missing the body. Plenty of uh, pressure on out there. Again, a West Coast mistake. Comes to Bittiscan. Straightens up. Goes to fall forward. Richardson sets himself. And Wolsey make that 17 after that article this morning contested marks well he's the leading contested mark player in the competition he's going to uh, short it off here good play good play Matty Rogers is marked directly in front that's what I was talking about Matty Rogers just been able to, to try and expose Weir Punda we know Weir Punda is very very exciting when he gets his hands on the ball he can set up a lot of attacks but he can get goals kicked on him wasn't it tight in the midfield for about 30 oh. seconds there it was hit handball hit handball and in the end young Kerr just coughed it up He's kicked 4-7 this year, Rogers, so he's been inaccurate. We get a great view behind him. He's kicked it straight through the middle. Good out, buddy. Getting better, George. Thanks for fixing my chair, George. Now that's taste. How can one man have so much talent? Eighteen to seven here. Richmond accurate early. Ben Gale likes bringing the ball back here, Rob. That's he gets in early and just tries to tap it behind him. So Gardner has to sit and wait, and then belts towards Cousins. Tivendale's been good in the last couple of minutes. Cuts him off to. Uh, Cameron, there's good signs early here for uh, the Tigers, or oh, Brodrick, well done, and then take uh, about I Back should on. say, and he's gone Bowden it was, and Matera got him and now Djakovic, first time we've caught him tonight kicks the half forward that's a terrific mark, Williams has come on for Miranda that's his strength, Bruce. He's marking very good for his size. Taylor arches his back. Good kick in board. Wants Wilson. Gasper knows he's got a, a battle here. Well, I just called uh, Jakovic for the first time. Same with Knights. Out wide. Kellaway to Gasper. Well done in the end. They get it wide to Tawny. Tawny at half back. The kick down the line. He wants Richardson. Worked under it by Carroll. No free kick. The ball's still at centre wing. Plenty of time. Pryor in board. Good kick. And finds Dean Cox. Cox gone into the ruck garden at the centre half forward. Probably see plenty of that tonight. Sets it up in the garden direction. Holland uncontested in the end. And that's a good matchup because Ben Holland will be able to play well in the air against Gardner and Cox. I thought Kellaway was in a bit of strife for the moment. That's a handy Kellaway. Able to get it. Leon Cameron. Well, the kick not good for Ottens. Jakovic. Still with Djakovic, Campbell in board, Taylor runs hard and then kicks to half four. They've got all the numbers here. West Coast Colic, he's off and gone, I think. Throwing it away, Hilton onto him. Well, that's disappointing because Colic looked in a position to really attack here. So Hilton into the centre. Scotty, Scotty Cummings is coming off, Bruce. Looks like he's got a bit of a leg injury there. Barrett will keep an eye on that. Rogers, poor handball, backwards. Chaffee to Campbell. Had four possessions in the first couple of minutes of the match. Short, good. So the Tigers going well here. Rogers to full forward. Richardson, Carroll, Taylor at the bottom. Peter Matera away. This is where they're good, Bruce. They can set it up from the attack, especially with Peter Matera. Just kick, hits at a, a target 45 metres away. He's brilliant. Daniel Kerr. Again down the wing on to Williams, second terrific mark, and then quickly on, but to nobody. Yeah, wasted kick that, he, uh, he just should have had better vision, just kicked it blindly. Tawny all on his own to Chaffee. So the Tigers are sweeping well from half-back at the moment. It's a good kick, this young fella. One of their better players last week, confidence has really grown. 
call to go on now. Ottens and Jakovic. Knights at ground level. Just hasn't quite got a handle on it. Banfield well read by Fletcher. Fletcher's kick and again Chaffee to cut it off. Almost a clever mark out of bounds. I reckon Ottens has got to start to move around on Jakovic, Rob. If he starts wrestling with him like Pavlich last week, Jakovic will just chew him up. But you've just got to expose him, get him into open space. Bruce, an update on Scotty Cummings. Yes, it's an ankle injury at the moment. Dean Kemp onto the ground, had concussion last week. Thanks, Adrian. So Kemp out there and uh, Cummings, just a question mark over his ability to run this match out now. Gale, bit of a blind handball. He had a couple of players in closer prior. Short cut off. Eagles have turned it over a bit, haven't they? They have, and Callaway again on Cousins. He will wear him like a glove tonight. Duncan Callaway. Oh, not a good kick. Tivendale, Fletcher, handball to Peter Matera. Doesn't quite break the Hilton tackle to Cousins. And that cut off to Bowden. Bowden goes long and high. They've got the numbers here, the Tigers. Rogers at the back, almost a wasted chance. I think we'll ponder down at the front. He'll play to the line, still in, now out. Gee, he's a good player, David Wirrapunda. Benny's just developed over the years, hasn't he? Came here as a 16, 17-year-old, and now one of the best back pocket players, well, I think maybe the best in the competition. He's the quickest to get to top pace out there, Robert. He's just amazing how quickly he can get to his full speed. Just a reminder about our internet, i7sports.com.au, for all the details on this match tonight and the rest of round five over the weekend. Cousins just on the cousins Callaway matchup. Cousins at four position, working pretty hard, Callaway four as well. Three goals to 1-1 one, one here, right in front of our commentary position. Taylor is good at that. Into the centre, curve front spot. Gee, off the ground, uh, Kellaway effective to Broderick. He's normally a great kick. He loads it up this time and kicks it to full forward. Rogers will ponder in the front. Richardson at the back will ponder run down by Richardson. Carroll and Rogers. Great of Wipunda. Just hanging on a little bit. Richo doesn't like it that much. And 50 metres. Oh, descent, is it? <laughs> You can't do that anymore, can you, Rob? You can't go crook at the umpire. You can't embarrass the umpire or you'll get a 50-metre penalty. The players should know that because they have been consistent and that's fair enough. So we'll put it short. Ooh. Cox. Morrison. Peter Matera. Good-looking kick off the boot. Wilson. She got up high in the front stop. Philip Matera. Little one. Kerr looks for a free kick. Not paid. Pretty good umpiring, I reckon. Cameron to Hilton. Not sure if I'd say it out loud if I was sitting outside. Boundary I reckon, throw in. I reckon he was stiff. I reckon if he wasn't in his first year, if it was a more experienced player, Peter Matera, no, I reckon that's fair enough. I reckon he tripped himself. Good yeah. umpiring. Yeah. Sometimes when you've been around a bit, you tend to get those free kicks, though, Bruce. Seven plays, 18 here. Cox wins the tap. Oh, well played, Kerr. Gets it back to Cousins. Arches his back and then goes uh, backwards. To Morrison. Oh, gee, that's four times I reckon they've gone forward. Yeah, poor kick. I just reckon that's where Cousins can get, get on top of Callaway. Just when there's a loose ball, just he's very, very quick to pounce on it. Callaway a little bit slower than Cousins. Gales kick to Ottens. And Ottens was on the lead there. Ottens would have run 40 metres, Ben, to take that mark. Just as you said, he's got to be on the move. So he's at half back. Kicks to about half forward. Rogers and Wapunda. They're very happy to go in high, aren't they, for that uh, matchup? Here's Cousins playing a big uh, part in this uh, early stage of the match. Well done, Cox. Good pick up. Left foot. Holland in the box seat. Half volley. Didn't quite get it. Then took his man on in Kerr. Down low. Well done by Cameron. Didn't get it out too far. And then hurled up. Campbell just searching for a free kick off Banfield. Tiffendale. First tackle looked a bit high. Ball up. I think it's in a win. And Tivendale has improved his football this year. He's, uh, he's the player that gets the most handball receives in the Richmond team, so he must be pretty fit. So Jakovic and Ottens. Ottens just with that uh, reach advantage and a boundary throw in. Bruce, just an update. Uh, Miranda's come out of the rooms. He's had some staples in that cut and looks like he's going to go back out on the ground. Did he start with a bandage, uh, Barrett? Because it seemed to be on very quickly. No, he copped it early against his old team. Dean Kemp now coming off to uh, allow Miranda to go back on. So William stays out. He's taken a good, couple of good marks. Prodrick's little handball didn't go far. And then they pounce all over the top. Push. And free kick for against the Tigers for jumping in there. I think it was Broderick. 
Wasn't much need for it, I don't think, Bruce. The ball wasn't going anywhere. Wasn't moving around in the pack. That's the only reason you, you would jump on it if there was a chance the ball would come out. Prior to half forward, Hilton front spot. Gardner at the back. Hilton, well played. Cameron is that sweeping tight roll. Left foot hard and high, not particularly good. West Coast should mark. Pryor's got it. Wapunda at the back. Out wide. Neat kick to Morrison. They get a lot of possessions from those players, don't they, across that line? Morrison's taken about 32 marks this year. Everyone uncontested. Kerr short and even shorter Gardner at centre wing. And that means he reads the play well. He's able to break out into space and they use him. Terrific night here in Perth and just about a packed house. Philip Matera on a lead. So he's a long way from home. Although they've got the ball, Bruce, it has been a static setup. They need someone to take a grab. Is it Wilson's chance? Front spot, Hilton at the back, read it really well. Takes Kerr on and then slashes a handball out to Ben Holland. He's had a good start here. Out wide, okay. And Andrew Killaway at half back. So the Tigers have held up pretty well, haven't they? They get the number richer. Richardson pushed out, I thought, by Carroll, and he'll get the free kick. Just had his hand on him, didn't he? He did pretty well there, Andy Callaway. He waited and waited. He just didn't have a long option. Richardson would have run 50 metres to get to that. So Gale in the heart of the centre square, back to bowed, and Otten's on a lead now. Will he go to him? Jakovic against him. Chaffee will probably leave it to Otten's. He does. Kick wasn't great, though, coming in from Bowden. Do you think Djakovic is as uh, happy on the full-back line as he is out at centre-half-back, Rob? No, not at all. I think that's a good move by the Tigers. Try to get Djakovic back at full-back. Because I think he's lost some pace. I think, uh, you know, with those knee injuries and operations, I don't think he's as quick as he once was. Ottens lays it down. Peter Matera hacks it out in the, to his advantage. Gardner, what an athlete he is. Attacks it hard. Ben Holland. Good tackle. It was uh, Bowden in the front and Ben Holland at the back. Cut off by Banfield. Campbell onto him in a hurry. Peter Matera forced to kick in a hurry around the body. Not a bad result. Oh, oh good mark by Gale. Marinda kept his eye on it too, but Gale got there first. Oh, we could see he had eyes only for the ball there, Brendan Gale. Just a brilliant, courageous mark. 227 kick. games. It's copped a big cork, Bruce Marinda. So we'll watch. Oh, gee, Richo was strong there. He just got rid of pride, didn't he, in the contest? Then quickly Campbell's going to have to kick in a hurry and he does beautifully to Rogers. Got him. They fancy this Rogers setup, don't they, to get the ball into him on the mark. Well, it's interesting. After he kicked that, uh, that goal early on, he went straight back to the full-back line with the clear intention to take Wirapunda away from the action. He could go all the way here. 50 metres out. Good-looking kick. Great-looking kick. He's kicked a second. Two couples. The pilot is a trained professional. A deserted island. He is the pilot. And temptation. So what are we, like shipwrecked? For a long time. Harrison Ford and Hesh, David Schwimmer. Oh God, what did I do? And how many times did I do it? Who will survive? Pardon me, what'd you say? When there's only one way off. I'm sorry. Are you kissing me? For this. The premiere comedy adventure, six days, seven nights, Sunday on 7. And after Rogers kicked his second goal, he's now moved in for the centre bounce. He's replaced Wayne Campbell, who's gone to the goal square. He's on David Wirapunda. Campbell's just run, uh, run ferociously for the first 25 minutes of this game, so he's having a spell in the goal square. Kerr off with the blood roar, replaced by Kemp. So the Eagles just need a steadier here. Early days, Fletcher around the corner. Killaway's got it. Killaway wide, that's Andrew Killaway. Chaffee. Really feels a part of the team now, I think, Chaffee. Unloads to full forward. Richardson front, or rather Otten's front spot. Ball comes out from Bowden to Duncan Kellaway. There, Tivendale's a good kick. Loads it up, gives it a ride, and kicks a fifth. Oh, those streaky left footers, they are coming from everywhere, aren't they? How's the handball from uh, from Bowden? That was his 10th possession, by the way. He's he's running a muck down there. Just very, very, we were, we were a bit quick for it then, but... Just the ability of their left foot as Bowden, Tivendale, Chaffee as well to kick long ball only off a couple of steps. It's quite amazing. And Duncan Callaway's been benched. He's just having a bit of a spell. Ben Cousins says, oh, well, I might have a bit of relief here, but not to be because <laughs> Stephen Ziller has run straight on. Well, it's now a big first quarter for the Tigers at five goals to 1-1. One, one. They've kicked the last three. They got the first two. 
and the last three, and the Eagles need one now. Knights cleverly out of the centre, and Zilla immediately onto the ground for Duncan Kellaway, and bangs to full forward. Campbell almost, all free kick to the Eagles. I reckon they were a bit lucky. And Bruce, it's just a terrific way for the Tigers to start this game because uh, when you get five goals up, you really do silence the crowd. 50 metre penalty going to the Eagles. And Ben, you, you'd know that yourself, that uh, when you go interstate, it's always good to get off to a good start just to uh, make the crowd just, there's a little bit of a hush. Don't yeah. get them too excited. They're out of the action, aren't they? The thing that's impressed me about Richmond is how flexible they are as a side. They see Campbell going forward, different players having a rotation on the ball. It's quite amazing. Carroll to Collicker to Gardner, who missed it. Handball coming out, though, was uh, reasonably good. And then Gardner's kick finds Fletcher. Chad Fletcher, about 60 metres from goal. Good lead. Philip Matera got him. It's a good kick, wasn't it? That's his, well, that is his, clearly his strength, uh, Chad Fletcher. He's a good runner, but his left foot passing has been has been pretty good, has improved. That's the matchup. Though. That's the boy I reckon they're going to be looking forward to to kick a few goals from tonight. Uh, Phil Matera, he's hasn't played a lot of footy this year, but um, just as a forward pocket specialist, he's second to none. Probably Luke Power and he are the best two going around. And it's interesting, uh, as small as he is, Philip Matera, he still doesn't uh, just rely on the crumb. He's able to get out in space and take a ball on the lead. He takes quite a few marks, doesn't he? We've got some great forward pockets going around at the moment with I'm... Farmer, Burns, Wanganeen, <laughs> Philip Matera. He's kicked 100 goals in the last two seasons, Matera, from the pocket. Is it comeback? Mm -hmm. Don't think so. So Cummings misses early and Matera misses late in this quarter. Can prove costly. They're just shuffling around their back line. Looks as though the Eagles... No, Richardson's come out to centre-half forward and Carroll's followed him. Gee, Ben Holland had a paddock all on his own. And the Tigers have got it up here too easily, you'd think, from West Coast point of view. Andrew Kellaway, no pressure at all here. And then goes to centre-half forward. Richardson the target and too good, too big, too strong for Carroll. They need a third man coming in, a half-back flanker to help uh, Richardson out, Rob. Djakovic wouldn't be able to run with Richo, would he? I don't think so. Richardson's kick, tumbling, 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 and then hooking and not making it in the end. Still in play. Campbell hooks back, boundary throw in. Gee, McIntosh, uh, oh. of all the players to miss tonight on the night with Richardson, you reckon he was just about the most vital? I heard Gary Lyon say last week that Ashley McIntosh was the hardest player he's played against. And he, was, he was strong and he was fast as a fullback. I reckon Tony Modra might concur, don't you? He's, uh, he's had some... Uh, Great results on him. Knights, Knights, still with Knights. Tries to find a way through Taylor's legs. Gets it back and Chaffee kicks another one. Cathy Freeman, her triumphs, her success and her kittens. <laughs> I like Dr. Harry. Sunday, meet Cathy's family. First she... TV appearance. Hey? Yeah, we are. You haven't got all him. clucky, <laughs> have you? So how did she cope during the Olympics? <laughs> Don't laugh, we'll ring up and, and leave messages telling them that we missed them. <laughs> all new Harry's practice, Sunday 6.30. Then, they've made it platinum, but can they match Bardo's number one? Oh, there they are. Pop stars after Harry's practice, Sunday at 7. I think this huge crowd's a bit stunned here. 8 to 36. What was a good start has turned into a flying start for the Tigers. Ray Hall in the ruck, Bruce, for the Tigers. The boy from Woi Woi, who uh, kicked some big goals against the Lions a couple of weeks back. Ben Gale gone forward with Richardson and, uh, and obviously Otten's down there, so they've got all their big tall guns down there, Rob. Well, I think Michael Colick is playing on Benny Gale. Well, he'd give him uh, quite a few centimetres, but the Tigers already in this first quarter have had three centre-bounce ruckmen. They've had Otten's, they've had Gale, and now Ray Hall. Cox and Gardner do the work for the Eagles. Kemp, quick kick, disputed ball, well done. Little give from Fletcher, back to Kerr, hustled off it by uh, the Tigers' Hall, who is mobile, and the free kick to Knights. He looked like a medium-sized player at ground level. I thought level. it was Tivendale, to be honest, when I first looked. I couldn't believe he was so mobile. Kick by Knights, Rogers at the back, outnumbered, Matera, Rogers, Kemp all over the top. Rogers will have to get it out, he hasn't. Ball up. And that's just a great example of the defensive skills of Matthew Rogers. He was so desperate to keep that ball locked in. You wouldn't find a braver player in the competition. The thing about their midfield as well, Richmond, because they've got the players rotating through there, it can cause a bit of confusion to West Coast. We see Manny Richardson just dropping back, loose man in defence for the last couple of minutes of this quarter. Good coaching from Frawley. Tigers in attack. Not long to go. They've kicked six in the opening turn without a miss. Gale took it out of the air. 
Kerr underneath ball up. And Ben, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Six goals to one goal two. I think Danny Frawley was saying we just won't let the uh, we won't let the Eagles get a goal just on the siren. So he's done it well. No, he does. Five goals up at this stage of the game is well. I'm not sure if it's a, a, win a match winning lead yet, but it's uh, getting that way pretty close. Interesting discussion there with Richo. Two 50 metre penalties against the Tigers. I think both against Richardson. Certainly the first one and the way that he reacted after the second one, it might be as well. So the Tigers are really buoyed here. They're flying with Rogers a couple of goals and four other goal kickers against one for the Eagles. It's six goals to one, two. Keep your eye on the big sports here on seven. Sevens football telecast. Proudly brought to you by Tui's. McDonald's, Mac your day. And Mitsubishi Motors. Tonight's Seven News weather update comes to you. Good evening. A cold front brought some showers to southern Victoria today. Clearing tomorrow, fine and generally sunny in the north. Becoming fine in the south after some drizzle near the coast during the morning. As for Melbourne, just a brief shower or two tonight and at first tomorrow, then a fine day, some sunny breaks, a cold top though, 16 degrees. Sunday morning fog then fine in 17, more of the same for Monday, around about 19 degrees in the city. Have a good weekend. Good night. Ooh, what a base, huh? Hash brown triangles. Should have called them Bermuda Triangles. Yeah. Introducing Bird's Eye Crunchy Hash Brown Triangles. Thanks, Mum. get excited about finance and investment. Start at square one. Call us on 13 25 80. Make it happen. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. This woman's made a really smart decision. She's bought a spacious Camry wagon that handles like a sedan. So she feels perfectly entitled to do something crazy. Believe it or not. This is quality. This is state of the art. This is the latest furniture from around the world. Sortino Furniture's biggest ever sale is on now for 10 days only. Everything in every store has been slashed by up to half. Up to half price leather lounges. Up to half price fabric lounges. Up to half price bedroom suites. Up to half price occasional furniture. Up to half price dining settings. And up to half price leather recliner suites. Sortino, the home of innovative furniture, Clayton, Mitchum and Brunswick. Hurry, sale must end soon. $2 million stock clearance of genuine Persian and Oriental carpets. Modern Chinese 8x5 foot, $495. 10 foot runners from $199. Dining and lounge room sizes, half price. 550 Burwood Road, Hawthorne. Persian Carpet Gallery, a world of difference. Square One is a simple step-by-step -step way to help discover which investment strategy best suits you. Call the Commonwealth Bank now on 13 25 80. Make it happen. 
spot and front spot. Ball comes out from Bowden to Duncan Kellaway. There, Tivendale's a good kick. Loads it up, gives it a ride, and kicks a fifth. He wasn't the only one to load it up today, was he? Uh, so far tonight, they've kicked some long goals. The Tigers, they lead six goals to one, two. Richardson, four marks has been important in the first quarter. No McIntosh, already a problem for Ken Judge. He's just been terrific, Matthew Richardson, and also uh, Matthew Rogers. Between them, they've taken eight marks in the forward line. Real problems for the Eagles with McIntosh out. I think in general play, they've got to get Gardner back there to help him out because he's, he's too quick and too strong for, for Trent Carroll. Ben Holland had a terrific first quarter playing at centre-half back. He's had ten possessions. Let's go down and join Barra at quarter time. Thanks, Bruce. Yes, we lost Darren Crocker there. So pumped up the Tigers. They really want to win over here. Their big push in the uh, huddle was, Richo, you just got to expose Trent Carroll. Run him around. Let's look for Richo. He's the main man. Bruce, back to you. We'll watch for that. So the Tigers uh, with a real purpose here. Duncan Kellaway back on. He'll continue to tag Cousins. Stephen Zilla back on the bench. So uh, it's just a, a double tag team effort on Cousins. That makes it very hard. Start of the second quarter, Friday night football at Subiaco. And the Tigers lead by 28 points after a withering opening term when it all seemed to happen for them. Ottens gets over the top of Gardner. Quick kick away. This is Kellum Chambers. He didn't uh, set it out in the first quarter on the interchange. Kellaway will play back to Holland, who had plenty of possessions in the opening quarter. Kellaway, I think, down. Boundary throw in. Holland started that second quarter loose in the fence. Morrison was also loose in the Eagles' back line. So I guess uh, if you weigh that up, uh, the Eagles would have the advantage. You don't, you don't want to keep Morrison free. So Kellaway picks himself up. It's a pretty tough boy. I think it runs in the family. Gale probably winning the tap. And Duncan Kellaway against the odds, and then Peter Matera, cleverly done to Pryor. Pryor at centre wing, kicks long to half forward. Bowden fancies himself here and takes a mark against Williams. Gee, I rate this bloke. Oh, oh, he's one of the most underrated players going around. Certainly the general uh, footy follower in WA would never even know his name. Kicks to centre wing. Otten Shekovic. Shekovic did really well there. And then Banfield gets it from Morrison. And then Banfield back to half forward. This has been the problem area, hasn't it, for uh, the East Coast Eagles of the night? They need a contest. They continue to bomb it in. They're going to get chewed up because the Tigers are getting their numbers back there. And it's not their tools that are taking the mark often. Chaffee this time had a terrific opening turn to centre wing. And that one, uh, Jakovic, that's a bit too easy. That's a poor result. And then Jakovic's kick goes into a contest. Back to Cameron. Handball to Kellaway has picked himself up. Going to be run down, just gets his kick, and a good one to Campbell, who started brilliantly in the first 10 minutes. Kicks to half forward, Otten sets himself, tried to get rid of a couple. Richardson belts it forward. I think it's Collicker against the odds here, held up. Holding the ball, is it? It is. So the free kick is going to go to West Coast. Trent Carroll in trouble too, Bruce, just in that, in that collision. If he has to come off, I will have to be Jakovic on to Richardson. So Carroll in trouble. Remember, McIntosh didn't start. Cummings ankle problems, Kemp obviously not fully fit, so they're getting a little bit thin. Kerr neatly to centre wing, Williams, front spot, pretty good call I reckon, it was a contest there wasn't it? And out of play, the contest coming with Kellaway. Rob, would you go with someone who's quick off the mark or a stronger player on Richardson? I think you need both because <laughs> <laughs> he's quick and he's so good in the air. Has picked himself up after that uh, that full Carroll, so he's uh, manning up again. Kerr with a bit of pace and some improvisation. Oh, Miranda clever back to Kerr, just didn't work. Hilton slaps to the boundary, they find it. Ben, Dean Kemp, he's on the bench, co-captain, most experienced player out there for the Eagles. Why isn't he on the ground? They need a spark, don't they? He's the perfect player. He can he can just, with a handful of possessions, set up a number of goals. I'd be putting him out there. I know he, he copped a heavy knock last week, but he's been used sparingly. Gardner, Gale. First goal, pretty important here. The Eagles uh, would be desperate to get it. Kerr, ball up. And that little fella, Daniel Kerr, Bruce, he's only 17 years of age. He's the leading tackler with the West Coast Eagles. And you can see the way he throws himself in. He loves every minute of it. I think he's the leading tackler in the whole comp, Rob. That's right. The only 17-year-old to have played AFL footy this year. He's the youngest player to have played this season. Campbell kicks it clear. Chambers. Little kick away. Only back to Campbell. It was a difficult ball to control. Banfield slapped it forward. Kellaway gets it. 
from Cameron and then back to Bitterscombe, real danger here, misses the target, Gardner, Phil Matera off the side, not coming back, he kicks a second behind, rushed it a bit didn't he? Yeah he did but gee, a, a team in good form would just nail that, yep. I mean that was a, a simple turnover in the in the defence of 50, you just got to nail them, especially a forward pocket specialist like Matera. And I think Bitterscombe breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> Well, that's what the, the Tigers did in the opening term. They did nail to the left-hand side of the screen to the city end. Bittescombe decides to go long. Gale the target. Gardner belts away. Duncan Kellaway squeezes a kick to centre wing. The race is on. Two players confront one another. Richardson and Morrison, they both miss it. Carroll ends up with him, so with it, so he has recovered. Gale's in the box seat. Big fly came at the back. No mark, but a good effort by Williams, who does play tall. Kicks it hard and high. Oh, Wilson free kick, surely. No goal. Yeah, it'll come back. Tiger free kick. Bitters to take it, and uh, he'll have a sore head. He copped a knee in the back of the head. Oh, gee. <laughs> Well, I, I don't mind that though. I know it's a free kick, but at least he's uh, created a bit of physicality down there. That's what they've been lacking. Get him into the action. That's good. Well, they say he's, he splits the packs. We <laughs> certainly saw that. So, Bitterscombe now. He's taking his number, is he? What's he doing? Blood, blood roll. roll. Mm. See, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, uh, I guess he had to cut something. You say he splits a pack, but he split a head there, didn't he? Uh, and that, uh, yeah, that's the tough part of the game. Now, this young fella stood his ground, uh, and, and at times you know that the pack's coming from behind. You've just got to stand your ground. He copped it. He'll be okay. They'll probably uh, put a stitch or two in, and he'll be ready to go again. Looks like Zilla coming on down there, Barra. Yes, it is uh, Stephen Zilla as uh, Bitterscombe runs around the boundary to get stitched up. Do you like that forward structure, though, Rob? But they had Wilson, uh, Matera, Phil, and Miranda operating out of the square at once. Mm. So, Hilton, good kick to Andrew Kellaway. This has been a terrific movement. Cameron's kicked to Hilton. And now to Andrew Kellaway to centre half forward. Rogers Wapunda. Rogers has fancied himself in the marking contest against Wapunda so far tonight. Peter Matera back. So the Eagles try and set something up. Good kick coming out of defence. Coming from Carroll and finding Collicker. Collicker kicks to half forward. No mark. Banfield was there. Oh, Campbell just misses uh, Knight. Get it back to Tawny. Back to Cameron. Keeps his call. Good kick to Hilton at centre wing. Tigers searching for their first goal of the quarter. Danger kick. Pryor's got it. Not a good kick to Tivendale. And now Gardner's got some space. At centre wing to work in. Very, very short kick. Finds Richard Taylor. They've got another spare. They could make something of this. To Williams. 60 metres out, gets a bit closer, goes the full forward, Wilson's big fly, Philip Matera's marked it. <laughs> the right spot at the right time, I don't think there was too much science to fill Matera. I wasn't overly impressed, I know that they're going to kick a goal there just with the setup. I reckon they went out wide where they could have gone straight up the guts a bit earlier then. Gets his first. You got to dig deep. You got to dig deep. Think back. Remember when you were six and we took you to McDonald's for your birthday party? All the kids, all the fun. All for you, son. For you. Remember that day, son? Remember when someone stole your fries, but we never found out who? We never found out. It was him. Back to 21 points, so the Eagles get the all-important opening goal of the second term. Holland still spare on the half-back line, Kolika for Eagles. Ottens did pretty well, took it out of the air and then bangs the set of half forward, Peter Matu underneath, they all miss it, no free kick, Richardson just paddled forward by Tivendale, but out of the fence comes Pryor, good kick to Banfield, West Coast enjoying a patch here to Morrison. Just gets his kick in time. Bowden tries to run him down. Terrific kick. Oh, missed opportunity. It's out of bounds. Well, it was out of bounds. Williams goes forward. It's play on. Tawny. Zilla. Ricochet. Andrew Kellaway. Coughs it up to Banfield. To Richard Taylor. Good kick. Wilson to mark it. Phil Matera in the square. No, he's... Have the shot there yeah, it looked out of bounds, didn't it? Oh. And, the, and the boundary umpire, he was about 100 metres behind. 
There was one a couple of weeks ago here with Peter Bell. It looked like it clearly went out of bounds. It's well, out of bounds. <laughs> they it's that. out of bounds. That's a home <laughs> hometown decision, <laughs> that one, Ben. That's extraordinary. Well, he was inaccurate last week, wasn't he, Wilson? Yeah, he missed him to the right. If he misses it, they generally go right. Let's have a look. It looks okay. Ooh. Oh, it's going away. Has he stuck it in? I, think, I don't know. I think he's missed. Ooh. So Cummings, Matera, Phillip and Wilson have all missed gettables, haven't they? Six scoring shots each. Just shows the importance of accurate kicking. So Joel Bowden with the footy. Campbell short. He'll probably go to his skipper. Zilla short again. He may go Zilla. No, he, oh, he's forced to go now. Now to Zilla. Got him. Oh, dropped it. Back to Cameron. A rather Bowden out of bounds. Well, we're just under 10 minutes in into this second quarter, and I, I do think the Eagles have had every opportunity to get themselves back into the game. Inside 50s, 3 to 7 Eagles way. There's Bitterstrom. If you were a defender and the West Coast Eagles said yours, Troy, you reckon it'd be pretty hard to stay in the ground, wouldn't you? Quick kick around the body. Coming from Cameron. Pryor. Eagles on top here, but not on the scoreboard. They need another couple of goals. No mark paid. Knights to mop up. It was a good handball coming back from Kellaway. They do it a lot, Bruce. They have... Danger gone. Bad talking. Really yeah. bad talking there. He'll pay the free kick. What we saw there with the Tigers, they handball backwards before they go forwards. Uh, going into this game, they were the highest handballing team, and they often handball back five or six metres just to set a player up. He's got greater vision then to see what's upfield. He just turned uh, the opponent and then Phil Matera. It's good play because it's very, very common for players to, to get a push in the back when you're running from behind, but he just put the uh, tawny on a slight angle and brought him to ground. It was good technique. If he gets this goal, they're well and truly back into the game. They've created a bit of nervous, nervousness down back, I reckon, don't you, in this quarter? Ooh. Well, he's kicked one free. She's lucky to even get it behind. He didn't. <laughs> Hit the post. Yep. Well, it's out in the full. Sorry, he has missed the lot. In a way, probably a better result for the Eagles. Harder to get it out from here. Well, you're right about that, Rob. They are getting numbers back. 52 handballs in the game so far to the Eagles at 27. Gale and Gardner. Gardner at the back. Kent Red at best. Lovely little kick in board. G back to Fletcher. Right foot not so good. He is a one-sided player. He forces Williams away from the goal. Back they go. Cousins to set a half forward. Miranda. Philip Matera so busy, but inaccurate. But good threatening kick to Morrison. Lovely mark. Gee, Philip Matera is becoming an important player. I just think if Philip Matera and Mark Miranda can hit form together, they will be two of the most dangerous small, medium-sized players inside a forward line because both have got plenty of tricks, both have got pace, both can hook the ball left foot or right foot, and we saw a terrific centre of the football then. They've used up a lot of energy, though, Bruce, this quarter. They need to convert on the on the, on the the scoreboard just to get them back in the game. They've, they've really dominated this quarter without any real success. Well, surely from here that Morrison will kick a goal. 20 metres out, basically straight in front, careful through the middle. It's not going to be sorted out right here and there. The video on with the CD. You're insane. We'll let you hear the soundtrack to Dreamer because you didn't kick the winning goal in 98, my friend. Essen Hawthorne, Essen 85, Essen Hawthorne. What was that? I don't know. What's going on there? Man, I'm out of here. <laughs> We're getting the train next time, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> What's the point if you... And Bruce, Ben Holland, who absolutely dominated the first quarter with 10 possessions, is now playing in the forward pocket. He was centre-half back in that first quarter. He's now up in the forward pocket. Hasn't been near it at all. So, a good patch here for the Eagles. Gardner getting over the top. Bowden, who knows a left-footer. Well done, though to Duncan Kellaway. They haven't uh, really had a meaningful forward thrust this term. Reminder about our website, i7sport.com.au for all the AFL information. The Eagles have got all the midgets in the forward line there, Rob. They've got Kemp down there, Richard, Taylor, uh, Andrew Williams and Miranda, so all smalls. Just saw Aaron Fiora who's come on, the youngster, for the Tigers. Campbell, Knights, 
Fletcher with him, Knights, don't need as far as Banfield, well done Duncan Kellaway, Bowden's handball, terrific to Gale, he had Tivendale inside, goes to Richardson, oh he's dragged down surely, oh. well he's very unlucky. And he's out of sorts, Richo. He's had a couple of words with the umpire, and that won't make him any happier because I think uh, oh. if that's not in the back, I'll go who. He's just grabbed his jumper, hasn't he, as well? And that's what the umpires generally look for, whether the jumper has been pulled. Plenty of space here for this throw-in for the Tigers. That's good. Jakovic and Ottens. Ottens just wins it. Hilton probably should have left it for Bowden. Pryor belts it back outside the danger zone. Banfield was a trip. It wasn't deliberate. Very clever Gale tonight. Hooks it back. Doesn't really get the hook on it. Peter Matera sits underneath it. The big fly. Tivendale on the right side for oh. him and finds his target. Well, there was some fortune in all of that. Left footer, right side, finds Bowden. But he put it in a dangerous spot. And uh, if the ball goes there, it's a 50-50 situation. Goes your way. We're going to have an easy shot on goal. I tell you, he's been good for the Eagles. Just playing one-on-one -on, -one on Matthew Knights as young Fletcher. He's kept Knights down to six possessions and he's had eight himself. So it's a uh, good play from the young kid. Well, the Eagles have missed a few. Richmond haven't looked like missing Bowden. Looking good. They've got seven. The Mitsubishi BRX is the quickest Magna ever. With a 163 kilowatt, 3.5 litre V6, and sports mode transmission, the Mitsubishi Magna BRX goes like a shot. Bowden's been big, hasn't he? 15 possessions, two goals, halfway it, through the second quarter. And he makes the most of every one. So the steadier, and now the Eagles need to get the next one again. Gardner down low. Oh, he just gets into his back a bit. Tivendale, good tackle, Taylor. Hilton, well done, Cousins. Back to Banfield. It was on his wrong side, though. Chapney got a finger on it. Banfield back to Cousins. He's forced wide here, Cousins, and forced to hook around the body. Miranda goes at it. Bad bounce. Bowden in the back half. Well played to Campbell. Campbell's kicked to half forward. Will it find Richardson? It does. Great kick, wasn't it? He's got Benny Gale long, and Rogers on the lead in the forward pocket. Goes to Rogers. Oh, made it. It was a lazy kick, actually, from Richardson, but Rogers was very purposeful. Lovely kick to Ottens. Oh, should have taken it. Bad miss. Caught up. Hamble comes out. Tivendale gets it back to Bitterscombe to fall forward. Good looking kick sitting underneath at Hilton. Just the space that the Richmond forwards have got is, uh, oh no, he's been, has to come around the mark, Rory Hilton. But just the space is just amazing. The uh, Just the explosion of the uh, Richmond forwards, just as they go to the lead, is just having the, the West Coast Eagles caught back on their haunches. Well, he's kicked goals in every match this year. In fact, coming into the game, he's their second leading goal kicker with seven behind Richo. Tight angle. Can he make it eight straight? Gee. Just yeah. missing. Barra. Scott Cummings, will he come back on today, tonight? Robert, it's not looking too good at the moment. He has not moved out of his chair for about 15 minutes. So no warm-up or anything like that. So that's not a good sign, is it? And as the Eagles bang along, Gardner and Ottens, we talked about them uh, in pre-match. Daniel Kerr back to Djakovic. Djakovic's kick along to Williams. It's a good kick, wasn't it? Yeah, and I reckon this young fellow can take a pretty good mark, Ben. Yep, no, he's good. That's his strength, Rob. So Williams to fall forward, Wilson on the lead, Gasper careful not to get the free kick away, Kemp trying to seduce the free kick, doesn't quite, goes back in board, Cousins the centering kick, Bowden's got it, what a game he's playing Bowden. Well he's bobbing up on the full back line, the full forward line and in the midfield. Bit of skirm, low, lovely kick to Fiora. He's playing on Morrison too, uh, too, so he's taking a very good player out of the action. Fiora to Richardson, they just trust him on the mark, but Carroll does well to Peter Matera, and then Peter Matera loads it up and goes to full forward, or oh, disappointing effort, Miranda. Didn't go for it. No, should come off. Tawny to Cameron to Tivendale. 
Mark Marina will be praying they don't kick a goal here. They're running well, Bruce. Chaffee, long and hard and high. Gale and Jakovic at the back, Hilton. Gasper's gone down low. Still Gasper will put into holds him up. Ball comes out. Pry looks for a high tackle and wins it. And will put us away. And this is what he does best. Tries to set it up down back. Kicks it low, high and hard. And Williams marks it. So frantic stuff here, one end to the other. He's got it moving on quick though, I reckon, Williams. Yeah, five marks for kick. Miranda, Bittescombe. Gee, Miranda's had a very ordinary minute, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I reckon the runner's going out. I wouldn't be surprised if the runner brings him off. He just needs to uh, have a talk to the coach and then go back again, recharge him. Williams again, in board to Chambers. Now Chambers to centre-half forward. Oh, Matera's quick. Doesn't take the mark. It was a contest, wasn't it? He's very quick. Well done. Gets it back towards Wilson. Kemp. Still Kemp. Peter Matera waiting for it. Terrific football, Cameron. Knights. Important that he doesn't cough it up. Back to Cameron. All in the clinches. Oh. All makes a blue. Loaded it up. He had a man all on his own. Gardner. And the Eagles are going to pay. They're going to make him pay. He does that well, Garden. He kicked five goals last week. I know one was a, a double. He got two for the price of one, but he knows when to run forward. He's a very smart player. And the runner's gone out to Mark Marino and says, come off and have a spell, son. And he'll be replaced by Greg Harding, the former docker. Five goals last week, Gardner. Ben Holland was the 50 metres on his own had uh, Cameron been able to get it to him. So Gardner from 50. It's a good kick. Terrific goal. 30 years of being nice, and something's got to give. I'm a monster. Tama's developed a mean streak. Yeah, I can't forget. But can she handle it? Let me help you out. I'm right up. A wickedly funny all-new Dharma and Greg, Sunday on 7. There's confusion on the set as the dumbest team ever hits Australian TV. That was a dreadful effort. How they passed the audition, no one knows. If life's like a box of chocolates, then I've found the coated nuts. An all-new Weakest Link, Monday. Eight shots apiece here, 4 4 seven, one. And the Eagles have moved Morrison onto Joel Bowden, who's been running right. Otten's just won it. Knights. Cameron will be disappointed with that kicking error a moment ago to Bowden, who's their go to man, isn't he? And then Bowden long and hard and high to fall forward. Rogers made good position. Hilton, ball slapped out. Comes back to Richardson. Should kick a goal. Misses. Yeah, they kept that alive then, though. Richardson off one step probably should have done a little bit, a bit better. Holland's gone down to full forward. Jakovic picking him up now, Rob. There's Scotty Cummings. Pretty tall forward line. Richardson, Benny Gale, Holland. Gee, when it comes in quick like Bowden just executed then, it's uh, very, very hard to defend. Here's Morrison. He's got the job on Bowden. So do they have a shootout here, or does Morrison just sit on him, do you reckon? I think Morrison would be instructed to sit on him. It's not normally his cup of tea either. He likes to uh, likes to run off. He's running off there at the moment, just trying to create from the half-back line. Fletcher's kick, a bit of danger. Chaffee at the back. Oh, well done, Richardson. Very well done. And then kept a cool head and pushes wide to Ben Bowden. Holland. Bowden. He's got uh, Bowden all on his own. And plays on and strolls in and kicks a third goal. Too easy. And when he took that mark and played on, his opponent, Morrison, Chad Morrison, was about 40 metres away. He is their go-to player because he uses the ball so well. And he's, he's earned respect in that team. He's been playing for about five years now. Uh, 19 possessions, just terrific. He's not the type of player, Morrison, I reckon, to go with Bowden. He, he's just the wrong matchup. He doesn't suit him. They need a hard tag. I'd be putting Colicker on him. At least he'd stick very close to him. Three goals to Bowden, 19 possessions in this first half. Oh, he's just been terrific. His fitness is well and truly up. He's just got that penetrating left foot. Chad Morrison will just have to uh, wear him like a blanket for the next five minutes. Ottens and Gardner. Chaffee Again. to Bowden, to Campbell. And then a long probing kick to Richardson, just a little wide in the end, boundary throwing. Bruce, update down here. Mark Miranda has a cork, so Wolsey may be a bit of an excuse there, but uh, Brendan Gale's been rested for the Tigers as well. There's the inside 50, so there's not much in it, is there? I mean, it's basically line ball. They've been more efficient though, Richmond, haven't they, this quarter? Yeah, and the last eight or nine minutes, it's been all Richmond. 
There's a lot of space between this boundary throw-in and this and the uh, and the full forward zone, so a bit of space to run into. Hall over the back was Fiora. Cousins read it best. Floating kick, difficult to control. Chambers and Bitterscombe, important ball here. Not a great handball, but he gets it from Ottens and then stretches another teammate in Andrew Kellaway. Out wide, though, I've got to say, Bitterscombe's come back well, hasn't he, after being knocked about a bit. Gets it to Hall, gets it to Campbell. Campbell to full forward. Wonderful, Mark Rogers. That, again, is a problem for Ken Judge. Eventually, it was going to happen. I would say that David Wirrapunda and Matthew Rogers have been in about 10 one-on-one -on -one marking contests in this first half. And eventually, he's just got the superior strength and size, Rogers, and uh, he will go for everything all night. Eventually, he'll wear Wirrapunda down. So six mark, Rob. So six marks to Rogers. Kicked two goals in the opening term, and he's kicked another one. He's kicked three. Well, can this guy tear Ali and Larry apart? Don't you talk to me. Monday. It's pretty new to be young. Sorry. Then my mom. He's Larry's son, and he's come to take Dad home. Do you talk to him about your feelings? He likes to pretend nothing's ever wrong. I don't know what to do, Ali can't take him away from his mother and he needs his father is this their heartbreaking goodbye you're uh, taking everything monday 8 30 on 7. and danny frawley's made a move he sent ben holland to full back we'll just see if gasper's the player who moves out from there gardner over the top ottens has been important down to Chaffee having a terrific match. Torpedo punt. All oh, bravery from Taylor in the front free kick. Rogers brave. saying I was going hard for the footy. Yeah, brave by Taylor. Brave by Matthew Rogers as well. Taylor pushes wide to Colliger. His ex Hawthorne teammate. Sloppy kick. Tigers could make him pay. Richardson's on the end of it. He's got players all around him. Well, he's got to kick a goal now. And he has. That's what good teams do, Rob. They make you pay when you make an error. The one thing that I, I think has been very, very impressive from uh, Richmond's point of view is they've quelled the defense, the, the attacking run from the defensive zone from West Coast Eagles. It was a poor skills there. Great kick from Chaffee. And just the, the brains for Richardson to run forward hard early into open space just allowed an easy shot at goal. Chaffee's been fantastic, 10-2. and two. Yes, uh, they've really made the Eagles pay. They've been very accurate. 10 to 4 now. So they've increased their league from 28 to 34. 28 a quarter time after the Eagles have dug into it. But as Ben Allen said, they would spent a lot of energy getting a couple of goals. And with those misses, Ottens has been a big player in the centre square in this term. Gardner doing a bit of roving and then wild handball. Hilton straightens up and then cleverly to Campbell. Free kick shortly against Taylor. Advantage to Tivendale. Tigers on the burst again. Wide to Rogers. Force wide boundary throw. Been impressive, the Tigers here. Really impressive. Look at the handball, uh, the difference there in the two. Well, they've been the number one handballing team so far this year, and often they handball backwards before they go forwards. They set a player up on the defensive side of the pack. Just vital, the Eagles uh, hold firm here. Another goal, and uh, here they go again. Knights cleverly on. to Campbell. Campbell from 50, he's given it a ride, it's a chance! Huge fly at the back, I think he's hit the, uh, the goal post for a behind. Yeah, that was that one, you know, would, should Otten's gone for the mark or just try and get underneath it and try and ship it? It was just uh, going close to the post, I, I guess he thought he was a chance to grab it, so why not? If I was Brad Otten's, I'd fly for everything. <laughs> when you're that tall, yeah. Need a goal here, the Eagles, don't they? In the last two minutes of this first half, and just can't concede another. Five and a half goal margin. We'll put a wide. Big fly came from Tivendale. They're playing so confidently now, Richmond. It's hard to find a winner, actually, for uh, apart from uh, Chad Fletcher on Matthew Knights. It's very, very difficult to find a winner. They've even got Andy Kellaway up in the forward 50 now, the Tigers. Campbell, Richardson, Ray Hall. So, Ottens and Cox. Colica gets it back. Ball smothered. Well played, though, by the Eagles. They force forward to Fletcher. Not a good kick. Kellaway's got it. I don't know how many times the Eagles have kicked directly to Richmond tonight. It must be ten to a dozen. Yeah, their foot skills have let them down. Kellaway to Bowden. Best man on the ground in the opening half. 
But Richardson just gets into the bat and takes a beauty against Carroll. It's a bit of a mismatch, isn't it? You can just tell he was in the right position. He passes it off to Hall, who's running into space. Got him too, and that's a good mark. And they've just got those tall options. Their confidence is up, and good unselfish play by Matthew Richardson. Just don't like it when a player turns his back on the mark like Ray Hall's doing there. Should always keep your eye on where the man is on the mark. Look at the mark difference, 53 to 35. And uh, a lot of them contested for the Richmond team. I think Danny Frawley would be absolutely delighted with their skills. It's a perfect night for footy and they are playing it to perfection. Well, Kevin Sheedy said in the press conference that Collingwood were there coming. I reckon back in Melbourne right now, there'll be a lot of people thinking the Tigers might be on their way to something. The way they've played in this first half, Hall just doesn't put cream on the cake though and misses. He had a longer run up than Dennis Lilly. He gave himself a bit of room, didn't he? Let me say, less successful. <laughs> That's the Peter Sumich hook pocket there, Bruce. So, fair enough for a left footer to hook that one. And uh, they've got space out wide on the flanks here for David Wirrapunda. He's had to kick it into one-on-one, -on -one and Hilton's got a chance. Oh, too easy yeah. against Patera. They didn't look like it then, did they? The ball was just not going anywhere for West Coast then. Mark here would be damaging. Kellaway wanting a free kick on Pryor. Dragosevic, Tivendale, still Tivendale. Coughs it up to Cousins, and the Eagles are away at halfback. Taylor's handball. Terrific first half here. It really has been by Richmond. Scott Cummings, one shot for goal early, ankle problem. Miranda's been on and off a bit with uh, various complaints. Cousins had a few touches, but he hasn't really hurt. And after the West Coast made a run at Richmond, it's been all the Tigers in the run up towards half time. Three goals to Bowden and three to Rogers. They really have been outstanding. Plenty for Judge to do. I'll be back with Ben Allen. Let's have a look at the first half after this. Imagine winning a block of land with a new Metricon home yes. on it. So you'll never have to make a mortgage repayment again, ever. The $250,000 Smile for Life giveaway. Every day in your paper, The Herald Sun. Get into Autobahn's April price crash and you'll get unbelievable savings on all the top brands in car accessories and audio. Prices are tumbling and we want to clear the lot so you'll save on great bargains like Valvoline SG Multimotor Oil at $8.99. Selected Jacquard seat covers at a ridiculous $14.95 a pair. Or a Kingwood CD tuner with incredible sound quality for an unbelievable $269. But hurry, the Autobahn April price crash ends this Sunday. You'll find everything you need for your home improvement projects at Bunnings Warehouse at the lowest prices every day. Like plugs for Applet Powerboard $3.98. Quail Smoke Alarm Twin Pack, $18. 150 litre compost bin, $32.90. Zag 27 litre roll and store, $17.80. 5 metre tape measure, $2.96. And if you happen to find a cheaper price on a stocked item, we'll beat it by 10%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. Get online with AOL and our unique welcome screen will make finding what you want on the internet easy. From news and weather, to money, even low. Some internet companies just sign you up and leave you to it. But with AOL, we help you find your way around. To get online, call now on 1800 265 265 or visit aol.com.au. Can you imagine the perfect place to build your dreams? Where shops and schools are within easy reach? With landscape lakes and tree-lined parks so your kids can run free. And where a display village can help you choose your very own dream home. The name of this place is Roxborough Park. Now your dreams have a postcode. $2 million stock clearance of genuine Persian and Oriental carpets. Modern Chinese 8x5 foot, $495. 10 foot runners from $199. Dining and lounge room sizes, half price. $550 Burwood Road, Hawthorne. Persian Carpet Gallery, a world of difference. Good night, buddy. Getting better, George. Thanks for fixing my chair, George. Oh, 
Now that's taste. How can one man have so much talent? After this practice, you'll be dying for more. Bobby, they know. What? Bobby Donald, you're under arrest for the murder of William Hanks. He defends others. I told him to scare Hanks. I never sent you to kill him. Now he's the accused. Why are they doing this? This prosecution is payback. It's out of my hands. We're in trouble. The unmissable new practice. We're about to have a baby. And now they're after me. Monday, 9.30 on 7. Chief Bowden's been important, hasn't he been out on in the first half? He's been doing it at both ends and with three goals. Yeah, seemingly with no pressure as well, and you just can't leave a player of that amount of skill free, Bruce. So here's the score at uh, half-time as we welcome you back. West Coast 4-4 to Richmond 10-4. Rogers and Bowden 6 between them, and Richardson's also been very, very important. It's a battle of the left-footers out there for the Tigers, isn't it? Bowden, Chaffee and Tivendale all have been outstanding. No McIntosh before the game. He was the late withdrawal for the Eagles, and they've really had a problem with Richo all night, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, every team obviously battles to match up with Richardson. Trent Carroll was try back there. He's going to be too agile for Djakovic. They just need someone, a third man in, trying to help that player out that's uh, trying to stand Richardson. He's also hurt them on the scoreboard with a couple of goals, and this one was pretty damaging before half-time. Yeah, it was. That hurt him. He also worked pretty hard off the ball with his cha uh, chasing and tackling. I've, I've been impressed with him. West Coast had a terrific 10 minutes. Terrific in field play. They never quite took advantage of it. Phil Matera, good and bad. Probably should have had three or four goals to half time. Yeah, he hasn't played much footy, so I, I guess he's not match hard. And he's, look, a forward pocket specialist, if he gets four kicks, you expect him to, to maybe uh, have three goals, and he'd be disappointed with that. Well, at the moment, he's kicked one, two, and uh, has uh, hit the, the point post as well, so he's had four shots for goal for one goal. Yeah, he's been a handful. That's a fantastic tackle there, just a tackle from behind, a good technique just to take the player on the side, but uh, just a poor finish. Terrible finish. So, Briefly, what chance the Eagles getting back here? I don't think any chance at all. Uh, Richmond, too professional. They've uh, rotated their midfield and just their players all around and their skill level has been superior. Ben, I know you'd be interested in this. The Hawthorne team of the century was announced uh, tonight. You were best and fairest in their last premiership year in 91. From the back line, Ayres, Moore, Burt Mills, Cole Austin, Chris Mew, Peter Knights. Gee, it's a pretty good yeah. back line without Chris Langford, isn't it? It is. Well, he's on the <laughs> interchange. The Big Dipper, Jim Bowen, Brendan Edwards, uh, Graham Arthur, Dermot and, and Bucky. Dunstall, Hudson got the full forward spot, Platten, Don Scott, Michael Tuck, Lee Matthews, what a first run. <laughs> Langford, Ian Law, Paul Salmon and Roy Simmons, John Kennedy, senior. So a lot of Channel 7 blokes there, Dipper, uh, Dermot, Jason and Paul Salmon. Paul Salmon's the interesting one, isn't he? Yeah. 200 games at Essendon, 100 at... Uh, at uh, Hawthorne, two best and fairest, not in great years those years, and yet named in the uh, the best ever team. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? I mean, there's obviously a number of names that have missed out. I mean, uh, Darren Pritchard, I thought would have been a chance, a, a champion player that I played with. Terry Wallace as well admitted, I thought he would have been half a sniff. I believe that Terry Wallace wasn't invited to the function tonight, so I've got no idea what that's all about. <laughs> and uh, so, been a terrific team and that'd be a match for anyone. See you in the second half. Trevor Nisbet will join me very shortly. Don't forget, Sports World Sunday mornings, not to be missed. It's a revolution in the AFL. Australia's top track and field coaches, including Cathy Freeman's mentor, poached by the top clubs. Pull the foot right in underneath you. Running's about pushing. Go! They're training like Olympians. That's great. Good position. Knees up, toes up as well. It's football's quantum leap. Give me the jumps. Fast feet. Go! That's this Sunday on Sports World. Main Logistics, Australia's most diverse logistics and transport group, presents the Main Sports Report. Hello, the Melbourne Football Club in turmoil tonight with businessman Ron Walker believed to be plotting a challenge to President Joseph Goodnick despite a denial today. In NRL, Penrith's $1.4 million man, Ryan Girdler re-signs for another three years. And Aaron Badley back to his best, one shot off the pace after the first round of the Greater Greensboro Classic. At Main Logistics, we aim to tailor integrated transport and warehouse solutions to make e-commerce more deliverable, to move more goods, more efficiently, more reliably, at less cost. As Australia's most diverse logistics and transport group, we are committed to linking the best minds with the best technologies to provide the very best business solutions imaginable. That's the main difference. 
Car City has 10 acres of cars. Car City has up to 2,000 cars from which to choose. Car City has 35 independent dealers. Car City has on-site finance. Now that you know, you'd have to be a loony to go anywhere else. Thought I'd find you here. Do I know you? Very well, actually. I'm you, 30 years from now. You're 25, boyfriend's rod, and he snores. Why are you here? I'm always coming back. We love it here. You must be loaded. Only thanks to that investment fund. Investment fund? The one you start with A&P when you get home. Anyway, Cafe Karloff across the square. We've got to meet the waiter. Why? He doesn't snore. From the Anzacs at Gallipoli to the humanitarian mission of East Timor, the Australian Army has helped forge our identity as a nation. In 2001, the Army celebrates 100 years of serving the nation in peace and war. And we remember the men and women who have given their lives so all Australians can live in peace, freedom and prosperity. 2001 is a time for all Australians to reflect on the dedicated service of its men and women, past, present and future. Stasera sono a casa, così mi faccio una pasta asciutta veloce. Con questo sono pronto della... Legos. Cuoci la pasta e aggiungi la salsa mescolando bene. Questo sì che è un bel inizio. Ecco fatto. È così ricco di sapore che non bisogna aggiungere proprio niente. Per tre o quattro persone. O una. Lego stir through pasta sauce. All you do is stir it through. Imagine winning a block of land with a new Metricon home yes. on it. So you'll never have to make a mortgage repayment again, ever. The $250,000 Smile for Life giveaway. Every day in your paper, The Herald Sun. The AFL, in association with its premier partner, Carlton and United, proudly presents the 2001 Premiership season. Welcome back. I'm joined by Trevor Nisbet, the Chief Executive of the West Coast. Not the best first half you've ever seen. Not a great start for us, Bruce. <laughs> no, we're well, not dead yet. Um, Mickey Moldhouse, who took you to uh, 10 consecutive finals appearances and a, and a couple of premierships. Trevor, just stay put for a moment, because he had this to say about uh, how he left the Eagles a couple of years ago and talking footy just three weeks ago. There were five boxes out in the shed that I knew it was in, but I never opened them. I never, I never put them away. Mm. I've been back in, I was mm. back in Melbourne one month. I put it all away yeah. because it wasn't, it was never going to be home. Because yes, we did feel outsiders, and it's funny the way we left, the way we arrived, is the way we left. There was no one at the airport, and there was no one at the airport. <laughs> you couldn't make it that day, Trevor, out there. Oh, well, I think Mick's a bit unfair, but in the end. Um, uh, Mickey spent 10 wonderful years here, Bruce, and he did a great job for us. And I think that that's what footy coaches are employed to do. And he did his job very, very well. Trevor, one of the things he also talked about, he said he would have made Glenn Jakovic captain. It's been a big talking point out east. I mean, what about here in Perth? Oh, it's been enormous. It's been uh, uh, the bone of contention in a, in a number of circles, particularly in pubs, etc. Um, but uh, from our point of view, we believe we've made the right decision going forward. What about the context of three of your guns? Uh, we're a Punda, Cousins and Gardner. I mean, where are they at the moment with their footy future? Well, Cousin re-signed last year and uh, Michael and, and David we're negotiating with now and we're very confident we'll be able to retain both players and obviously they're vitally important to us in the future. Troy Wilson is such an interesting person for all of us. I mean, he hasn't fired really a shot tonight, but... I mean, at 28 years of age, going to be 29 before he plays a football match, it must have been one of the most surprising draft choices, if not the most surprising of all time. How did you come at it? Well, it's, it's a wonderful story, Bruce, and I think it, it gives hope to every player out there. If you're good enough 
and you're elevated and you train hard, you can make the grade. And that's what Troy's proving, that uh, it can be done. And I think that's important for everyone. Could you believe your luck tonight when you came to the ground and know Ashley McIntosh? Oh, it's unbelievable, uh, particularly against Richmond, who have a lot of great tools. And our lack of use of the ball is, is just really hurting us. So we need to do that because every time they turn it over, they kick it to one of the tall guys. So, so Trevor, what are, the, what, are, what are the thoughts on West Coast this year? I mean, where, where are you realistically aiming at? Well, we have to improve a lot, Bruce. We're, that's been our aim. We've uh, recruited heavily. We've changed our squad dramatically, and we just have to keep improving. We're going to have some ups and downs, and tonight at the moment's down, but the game's not over. Um, we're very hopeful to get through this game and, and do very well and improve in the second half. Coaches always cop a lot of flack. Damien Drum's getting more than Ken Judge at the moment, I guess, out west. Yeah, it is sad. Um, it's a tough ask for Damien. I mean, four losses is, is really tough when they've played reasonably well. And Last what about, what about Judge? Is he sitting sweet? Oh, he's always sitting sweet. He's doing a good job. <laughs> good on you, mate. Well, a, a long way to go. Two and two. Six goals down here at halftime. Good luck for the rest of this match and for the rest of the Thanks season. Thanks very much, Bruce. Trevor Nisbet, uh, who, as we said a moment ago, we were watching Mickey Malthouse on Talking Footy. A reminder about Talking Footy on Tuesday nights. They've done a great job, isn't it, in Collingwood, and it's a bit churlish to be hearing other clubs whinging about it today of all days. You just learn something every time, and so you think, OK, when that happens again, I won't do that. But the same thing never comes up again, so you've just got to keep, keep learning. <laughs> what about Matthew Knights and Wayne Campbell? It's a wonder to pop on. <laughs> the last two weeks have been fantastic for us. So the liver thing's brought you closer together, you think, in a funny way? No doubt. Tuesday night, 10.30. Talking footy. It's party time. Oh, it's gonna be wild. Oh, do you remember the last party? I got so drunk, all I remember is making out with some guy in the hot tub. Oh my god, so did I. <laughs> all new Will and Grace, Sunday on 7. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher in high school. I would teach English and get married and have three children. I reckon it'll be great to be a fireman. You get to drive the engine and you get to go in burning buildings and save people and stuff. I help Mum make scones and cakes. So when I grow up, I'll, be a, I'll, I'll have a restaurant and all my friends will come there and my mum and dad. I'm in the under nights and I'm a forward. I usually score a goal every match. <laughs> One day I'd want to play for Australia if I'm good enough. Authorised by the Commonwealth Government, Canberra. Today, Brand Power looks at how a handy product has just been made even better. It's Glad Snap Lock Bags. Now with an improved reclosable seal to lock in freshness. When you snap it shut, it seals tight. Plus, it's easier to open and shut. And now, Glad Snap Lock Bags come in four handy sizes. Mini, sandwich, lunch and large. For your food and non-food storage needs, look for Glad Snap Lock Bags. Now an even better way to keep food fresh. Brand Power, helping you buy better. This is the battery-powered Colgate ActiBrush. It's proven to clean significantly better than an ordinary toothbrush, even in hard-to-reach places. The Colgate ActiBrush head oscillates around 75 times a second. That's over 2,000 times by the end of this commercial, which is nearly a whole week of ordinary brushing. Colgate ActiBrush, simply a superior clean. Create exceptional performance. Design technology. Kumo. Now, Helga, while we're building our new set, we still need to make a homemaker sale ad. Uh huh? Uh. So, when I mention the sale, you show the homemaker dog a lot. Okay. And then show the products when I say a Boulevard one litre stainless steel flask for just $24.95 or a Mistral convection heater for just $75. There you go. Didn't take long to show you the ropes. Homemaker sale dog a log out now. 
Hyundai celebrating Accent being voted Australia's best small car 2000. 1.5 twin cam, airbag, power steering, Australia's best standard factory warranty. Only $14,990 drive away, save $1,800. Hyundai, take another look. And now a moment from Roy and HG. You guys should uh, hold a competition, let the winner, King, hit Ricky while he's mining. <laughs> She bangs. she bangs, she bangs, and whack. <laughs> and the song keeps going. Monday, 10.30. Half-time, Friday night football at Subiaco, and Richmond in control at the moment. They lead by six goals over West Coast. It's 10-4 to 4-4. And they have looked the goods. Adrian Barrett down at the boundary line has been around both of the runes and uh, Barrett some problems for the Eagles. Some problems right uh, for Scotty Cummings, Bruce. He can't believe his luck. He's injured again. He's hurt his right ankle and is certainly out of this game and probably missed a couple of weeks after this as well. So more chance for Troy Wilson to consolidate in the team, I guess. For mine, Mark Morenda is also carrying a cork, I think, in his thigh and he's not carrying it too well at the moment. And Dean Kemp just doesn't look right. So they have a few problems over at the Tigers, though. They're just laughing. There's no problems at all. Periodically, they're changing their midfielders on the bench. Simon Kadic, Bruce, the Australian cricketer, has been in their rooms cheering him on. He's a big fan. I think you'll probably see him out on the ground with them after the game. It is a real danger, Bruce, this quarter that the Tigers could blow this game apart. The Eagles need to be very careful, particularly in the first 15 minutes of this quarter, I think. Bruce, back to you. Thanks, Adrian. One of the things the Tigers haven't been good at doing is blowing teams away after establishing good leads. That's right, Bruce. I think the next 15 minutes are vital. If the Tigers can build their lead over the next 15 minutes, and even if it's only by 6 or 10 points, well, I think they're home and hosed. But if the Eagles are able to get a couple of quick ones in the first 10 minutes, well, you just never know. Rob, when you're in a position like this, you can judge. Do you try and go for something completely different to get the opposition off guard, or do you stick to your tried and true formula? I think he has to make Make some changes and uh, I'm looking at Peter Matera he's heading towards the halfback flank where he played the first half I think Peter Matera is in very good form I think you've got to take a punt put a, put quality players up across half forward and give yourself a chance to kick three or four quick goals and lift the spirits of everyone yeah they got Gardner just inside the 50 meter zone Dean Kemp's in the the true center half forward position so there's a, a couple of changes full Matera operating out of the square I think Jakovic is going to uh, Richo which is really interesting I think mm. That'll be a good one, Bruce, because I've just been watching Glenn Jakovic this first half and he looks as if he's lost a yard or two in pace now. If Richardson runs him around, he could run right, could get plenty of the ball. So uh, we'll just see what Danny Frawley's instructions are. Carroll's gone to Ottens. Start of the second half here. Friday night football at Subiaco and West Coast trailing by 36 points. Campbell out of the centre. They've dominated there. Ottens and Carroll. Pryor banging towards the boundary line and he'll find it. So Ottens Carroll, that's the match up there. There's Michael Pryor, emergency in that famous Essendon Premiership win. There's uh, Miranda, who Adrian Barrett has told us has got a corky, and Richardson and Jakovic. Roger still has got uh, Wipunda. So the matchups have worked for the Tigers in the first half. Fletcher had a very good first term. Might have won a free kick there. Knights hasn't had much impact. Banfield runs out of space, and Kellaway really cleverly there. Back to Campbell. Campbell pushes to Hilton. Can he search and find? He does in the end. Oh, being flattened off the ball by Richardson was Wapunda. And then Hilton kicks to full forward. Oh, missed a chance there at the back by Carroll. And it's out of bounds. He's struggling a bit, Carroll, isn't yeah. he? And you always worry when you see a player put their hand up to shield the lights away because they're in the eyes. You, you, <laughs> you get a bit nervy. Not, not a great sign of confidence. Harding looks like he's trying to put a tag on Joel Bowden. Well, they've got to close him up, that is for sure. Dragosevic was there, came on in the second quarter. Ball still coming out, Dragosevic. West Coast have got a hole firm here. Harding tries to push it out. He came in for McIntosh tonight. Gets back to Andrew Kellaway. I think there's a free kick. kick going to West Coast. Yeah. And uh, Ben Holland back at centre-half, back for the Tigers, where he absolutely dominated in that first term with 10 possessions. Cousins, interesting match. This will be his 14th possession. He hasn't been able to hurt the Tigers. Yeah, hasn't been as dynamic as last week, or particularly that last quarter last week when he won the game for the Eagles. He's had to work hard for his possessions. Goes short. Oh, missed by Cox. Back to Cousins. He'll take Gale on here, you reckon, and then on the left, and uh, kick straight to Ben Holland. That must have happened a dozen times in the first half. Well, Gardner playing at centre-half forward for the Eagles. Ben Holland, hugging the boundary. Benny Gale 
Slow handball, not good. Cox able to chop it off. Gale running out of room. Boundary throwing. Disappointed with himself. Benny Gale. He's the oldest player out there tonight. In fact, he's the only player on the Richmond list born in the 1960s. I bet he loves it when he's reminded of that. <laughs> Quick kick away by Fletcher. Bitterskin to Dragosevic, close to the line, and just in. Gee, they hugged it there, and Duncan Killaway marks. He, he won't want to kick it, Duncan. He'd rather handball. So a sedate start to the second half. Killaway's kick. Otten's one hand, brings it down towards Tivendale. Belted away by Colica. Back to Tivendale. The back turn. Can't get away from Cousins. Back to Carroll. Carroll just sort of hands it up to Banfield. Banfield's kicked to half forward. Gardner front spot. Well done, Holland. And then got caught a bit over the shoulder. No free kick. Probably a good decision. Bowden, who was just outstanding, scoops it back. Gets it to Knights. Trying to force something forward. Did a bit awkwardly, Knights. He's not a really good nick, I don't think, tonight. And Carroll takes the mark. Peter Matera. Who could hold the key to West Coast chances. Gardner. Another player you'd expect would have to kick three or four goals in the second half for the Eagles to win. Good kick. Finds Williams. I think that's where they'd prefer Michael Gardner be taking the marks, no Bruce, although Bruce not up on the wing. Benny Gale getting back in the hole in front of Wilson. It takes a brave man to do that, as we've seen. Gasper and Wilson. Tawny. Left-hand handball. Campbell did really well to Gale. Back to Bitterscombe to Bowden. That's good play by the uh, the Tigers. Richardson on a long lead. They kept their call. Now he might find him here, Ben. Chaffee's the man. Otten, it's sorry. Otten's on the lead and takes a terrific mark in front of Carroll. Well, they'd fancy Otten's against Carroll, wouldn't they, uh, the Tigers? The kick to Hilton. He's also a good overhead mark. Dragosevic, free kick to the Tigers. Now the advantage. Richardson on the lead against Djakovic, who couldn't get near him. No, well, he, uh, he broke early, Richo. I had my eye on him, and uh, as soon as Dragosevic had the ball on the boundary line, he was off like a rocket, and uh, it was hard for Glenn Djakovic. We're not playing to his strength, Djakovic's strength, that is. You're, you're actually exposing his absolute weakness. You're better off putting a smaller, quicker player on, on Richardson, I reckon. So, tucked away in the pocket. Good kick. Coming back, he's kicked a goal in each of the first three quarters. Well, it's the blue lake's what yeah. we ordered, wasn't it? We'll do the trim. If you've ever yeah, taken right. on a big job around the house... Well done. It's on plaster and there are holes. You'll know that getting the right advice... You've got to start with that. ...is what really it's saves your money. It's good value right. and there's a great range of colours. And a whole lot more. They're washable. Um, they come in a whole range of colours also. Because the only thing better than knowing you did it yourself... ...is knowing how much you saved. Keeping the pressure on to the Tigers. Uh, Dean Kemp's gone in for this centre bounce. Leon Cameron's gone every step of the way with him. So it's Gale and Cox. They have a good look at each other. Kellaway, what a competitor he is with Cousins there. Cousins copped a high one from Campbell. It was an inverted. And then Chaffee down low. It'll be a ball up. Gee, Danny, for all he is, well, he's showing his stingy side. He's got uh, Peter Materials on the half back flank and Andrew Call Callaway, a noted defender, is his opponent. And Andrew Callaway has just dropped a little bit further back towards yep. the goals just to take the talented Peter Matera away from the action. Good coaching. Been very good to the Tigers in these centre square setups. Even if the Eagles get possession, they don't get too many clean possessions. The Tigers are able to put the pressure on. Harding has come on the ground. Quick kick away. Hilton and Kemp. Kemp did really well there. He put the pressure on. Handball by Williams. Hilton gets back. Almost out of play. Keeps it in. And then no pressure in the end, but poor kick. Perceived pressure, I think, from Hilton. Played pretty well, Hilton. He's had a good year. He's an improved player, Bruce. So I thought last year he got reported three times and suspended three times. And uh, I reckon he's pulled his head in and is just letting his football speak. So the Eagles haven't had a goal for a while. Taylor gets it from Cousins. And then with a hard high kick to Gardner, Ben Holland belts it away. Numbers back. Cameron to Bittescombe. And Bittescombe's got Campbell wide here. Peter Matera to try and get back, but Campbell's away. He's had a terrific match, Campbell. Richardson on the big long lead, and with Ottens, take your pick. Ottens has got it. What a bad pair. Shades of Melbourne opening round this, isn't it? Yeah. Ottens short to Richardson, got him. Gee, he worked hard for that Richardson. He threw about three or four leagues, 
prior to that, uh, the, the fourth one being the one that he ended up getting the ball. So he's just working hard. Just There was a bit of space to work Djakovic around, and that's what he'd be thinking is, if I can get Djakovic on the move, I'm half a sniff to get on the end of the ball. Could he go all the way here, Wolsey? He could. He could do anything, Bruce. It could be out of bounds, <laughs> or it could be the best goal you've seen for the year. Well, he gets close to the man on the mark. Tumbles it, tumbles it, tumbles it through for a fourth. <laughs> Very nearly into the man on the mark, mind you, but uh, his confidence is up now. And look, two goals in the first seven minutes of this third term. I don't know what Ken Judge can do now because uh, Djakovic, probably his, his best defender, is in real strife. So it is a bit proppy, uh, Richard, after this. Uh, bangs it hard. He's he grimaced as he kicked yeah, it, I reckon. He's, he's not feeling 100%. Yeah, he's certainly got knee, knee problems, but he'll be feeling good. He loves a goal. And he's kicked two in this uh, first eight minutes. Well, it's just the uh, the nightmare start, isn't it, for West Coast Eagles here? He wouldn't want to come off either, Richardson. I know he's a bit proppy, but uh, considering the fact he didn't kick a goal last week. Well, he's got four so far tonight, and they've really dashed away here. The Tigers, they lead by eight. Long kick by Taylor, the half forward. Numbers everywhere for the Tigers. How many times have they taken a mark at half back tonight? Ben Holland to Chaffin. And they've had easy releases to the half-back and the wing zones from their half-back line as well, Bruce. Chaffee, Ottens has had a terrific uh, start to this quarter. You think Carroll's having a night he, to forget. But he did that well. He worked Carroll early, just prior to the ball being delivered to him. Worked him early, so there was uh, an easy mark in the end. Richardson the target. Djakovic all over him at the back. Fletcher, Dragosevic brings him down free kick. Advantage to Djakovic, all in trouble. Just quick kick away, no advantage in the end. Bittescombe, I think he's done a terrific job after he got his head split open. Kick to Gale, then Gale, not such a good kick. Colic should, oh, doesn't take it. Belts it away, only as far as Cameron. He's got Richardson short, goes into Chaffee. Chaffee takes his time, then measures the kick to Ottens over the top. Knights tries to take the mark, Matera at the back. Gee, West Coast under huge pressure here. Short to Djakovic in the back pocket. Wider to Matera. Matera's handball out wide. Gets to Kolika. Nothing to go to. He's got a bomb it long. Williams, a good overhead mark and takes a beauty. Thank goodness this fella can take a grab. He's the eighth mark tonight. Back to Cox. Cox to Philip Matera. Well, they've made something happen here from not much early on. Philip Matera with a vacant goal square. Big hook on the kick. Once Morrison gets him. Stops. Waits, props, hooks the kick back. Is it coming back? It looks good. Or is it? It's a goal. Imagine winning a block of land with a new Metricon home yes. on it. So you'll never have to make a mortgage repayment again, ever. The $250,000 Smile for Life giveaway. Every day in your paper, The Herald Sun. Pub's doing to big brand prices. Oh, yeah. Australian all-rounders from just $69. And Pills Attraction from just $59. Bob just won't be beaten. Bob <laughs> Lou. So two to Morrison, and the Eagles get their first of the half. Still got a spare man back there now. Chaffee. Geez, they're leaving skilled players free in their back zone. Uh, Richmond, it's um, poor play from West Coast. You've got to pick him up. Here he goes, Chaffee. Easy release. So it was Knights to Cameron to Chaffee. Hilton, the target. Just uh, couldn't quite get hold of it. Collica with him. Tivendale, terrific play. His orientation was excellent. He knew where Hilton was. And then Hilton on the left as he got the carry. I don't think so. Prior front spot takes the mark. Back to Djakovic. He's had his colours lower, Djakovic, at the start of this quarter. Kicks wide. Good kick in the end for Taylor. They've got to take some chances here, the Eagles, don't they? Rapunda. No real impact. He's been beaten by Rogers tonight. Comes back in board. Dragosevic in the box seat. They make a contest. Kemp at the back. Back to uh, Cousins. Back to Cox. Almost cut off. Gets a second go, Cox. A bit up and under. Phil Matera versus uh, Tawny. Read it best, Matera. Down low. Oh. Troy Wilson went without him in the end, and then Gasper away to Dragosevic, dropped it. Pressure. Dropped it, Matera's got him, holding the ball, Matera's, no, yes, free kick for Matera. And what a wonderful effort by Matera, he was the one who worked his butt off down there, three, four efforts to finally earn that free kick, and he deserves to kick a goal. Well, he looks the one most likely to, to, to create an impact, Rob, why not? 
try. Troy Wilson out at centre half forward, perhaps try take a grab and, uh, and isolate Phil Matera in the goal square. I agree because Wilson's only had three possessions uh, and we're what halfway through this third term. So Matera from point blank range kicks his second. The Mitsubishi BRX is the quickest magna ever. Sports mode transmission. The Mitsubishi Magna VRX goes like a shot. It is Mitsubishi. And Bruce, uh, Joel Bowden, who was uh, taken out of the play. Danny Frawley's made a move. Bowden was pushed back to the back pocket. He's now got Bowden playing across centre half forward and he's given him all the space in the world. Harding is his opponent. Prior loose man uh, for the Eagles, so the game with loose man in the fence. Kerr gets it from Kemp, so Kemp's had a couple of touches in the last minute. Wilson on the lead, Matera the man at the moment. Have a go. He's at 50, centering balls a beauty to fall forward. Well done though by uh, Knight. Three. Oh gee, Cox's is free kick, is it? Oh, it's a free kick. Fletcher's kicked the goal, is he? Is the advantage given to Fletcher goal? I think it is, it's a goal. What a terrific centered kick by Philip Matera. So three goals in, what, three minutes, I guess. 7-4 to 12-4, and they get back in it. It's a five-goal game, I know, but it was an eight-goal game three minutes ago. I just think that maybe Danny Frawley's got to move uh, Jason Tawney off Matera. Philip Matera's been the danger man. Maybe Chappie's the one who goes back. Good kick by Fletcher around the body. The Eagles have stepped up their tackling. Seven tackles to two this quarter. Well, the crowd has got involved really for the first time in a long, long time here with three quick goals to the Eagles. And now the Tigers under a bit of pressure. They lead by five on the scoreboard, but the Eagles have got a real sniff here. Cameron worked off it. Kemp has been important in the last couple of minutes. Kemp's been terrific. He's virtually playing at centre-half forward for the Eagles, and whilst he's not doing a lot with his quality touches, he's just locking the ball up, dishing a handball out, tapping it into a bit of space, and that's the old head of an experienced premiership player. Gale and Cox. Gale cleverly to Campbell, to Taylor, to Cousins. You Good hands. Feel they've got a sniff here, haven't they? Collicker on the burst, centering kick. They need the mark. They've got it, Wilson. Just getting the hands on the loose ball. Uh, ben Cousins, he uh, hasn't been brilliant tonight, but just his work rate has been outstanding. Look, it's amazing. He's had 18 possessions, and he set that up as a great handball then. Gee, how big is this kick for Wilson? This is huge, isn't it? Ben, did you think, watching him play over here, over the last four or five years, that he was AFL material? <laughs> be easy for me to say yes to that, wouldn't it? Look, he's always shown a, a real... Uh, appetite for a hard contest. Great kick. Important. Well, what an amazing turnaround here. Yeah, they kicked the last four, haven't they? And they've rung, rung the changes, the Tigers. Uh, Matthew Knights has come off for a bit of a break, and so as Delpin Duncan Callaway. Looks like Zilla's come on, and no doubt he'll go straight to... Well, I thought he'd go straight to Ben Cousins. Well, he has gone into the centre. They've obviously got the zone set up for their centre bounce. Uh, ben Gale, as I mentioned earlier, tends to like to bring the ball back. And uh, looks like Zilla go to Cousins. Well, we've got a game, haven't we? Eight goals a moment ago, back to four. And the important thing for the Eagles, they haven't spent a whole lot of energy getting there. They've done it with very good football. Pryor's kicked to half forward. Williams worked underneath it. Harding on the run. Bowden hasn't had a touch in this term. Harding's poor kick off the boot. Wilson attacks hard. Gasper, well played. Didn't give it away. Got a high tackle. Campbell with a cool head to Dragosevic. Dragosevic to Zilla. Zilla's kicking to the centre to Tivendale. Brought down by Matera. Great kick. kick. Under pressure oh, to Richardson. It was body weight too. Uh, not only did uh, Peter Matera have Tivendale by the jump, it was body weight. And that's very, very difficult to execute. When, uh, when you've got someone grabbing you and pulling you down. It was a brilliant kick. Have a look at Richo's run-up. He's gone back. Well, count his steps. He's gone back the length of, of a cricket pitch. <laughs> well, I did have Kadic uh, talking to him before the game, Walsy. 
He'll certainly be balanced by the time he kicks it. Well, can he equal the record, the Richmond record? Oh. No, he's done what you thought he might have done the last time. It's amazing you have such a, a big run-up and still get so close to the man on the mark. And Djokovic goes and pats him on the behind. <laughs> and then tries to lead off him, and he does. Good play. Well, that's a bit of a reverse play, isn't it? Richo's not going to move quite so well in defence, I think, as he would have attacked you, because the knee is hurting a bit. He runs uphill a bit, you think, when he's chasing He's definitely Bruce. limping. Wapunda. So, Eagles going all right here. Good play. Kerr read it well. Holds it up. Good kick. Wilson couldn't take the mark. Not sure if I want to get in front of him when he goes for it. They all jumped out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Including the Eagles players. I jumped out of the way. I'm 100 metres away. Well, those spectators in the front row duck for cover. <laughs> he picks up the spear sometimes, doesn't he? <laughs> Is there a more fearsome sight in AFL footy right now? I don't think so. Maybe Barry Hall. So seven to one here. They're making the play though, Bruce, this quarter, aren't they? Making the play. So a reminder about, uh, if you want to know about uh, Troy Wilson or anybody else in this game, the website, i7sport.com.au. They've got all the facts and figures and the stories. Tigers have got an extra man back in defence. Just need a steady. I mean, it seems ridiculous, doesn't it? There are four goals in front. Dragosevic from Campbell. And just bouncing out, so... Well, they need someone with a bit of poise. Bruce, expect one of their experienced players, like Campbell, to set a goal, just to relieve a bit of pressure. Maybe uh, someone like Cameron as well. Well, it was a touch off the boot. It must have been yeah, for a boundary throwing. So they've got a break here. So now Carroll's gone back on to Richardson. Djakovic unopposed. Fiora to put a tackle on. Cousins to the line, another boundary throw. You've got to admire Cousins. He's worked really hard. He's had Duncan Callaway and then Stephen Zilla comes on to put the second tag on in the second half of each quarter. But uh, he's really gritted his teeth. He's run hard and he's been on ball just about the entire game. Getting close to 20 positions, Cousins. Bowden front spot. Djakovic, Fiora. Taylor wrapped up by Chaffee. Uh, and young Ball. Daniel Kerr, the 17-year-old, he's got the tagging job on uh, Wayne Campbell. And that, that's a feather in his cap. He'll learn a lot from this game. 23 positions, Campbell. He's worked well in the defensive zone uh, this game, Wayne Campbell. Just get, getting back there to plug the hole and being a link man back there. It's a bit of a stalemate here after the uh, Tigers kicked the first two and then the Eagles rushed at them with four. Bruce, uh, up in the Eagles' goal square, they have got four players. So they've certainly opened up their forward line. Four players in the Eagles' goal square. So the tackle's favouring the Eagles in this term. Bowden tries to lay it down. Oh, terrific hands by Broderick. Gets to Chaffee from Campbell. One-out situation here. Carroll and also Richardson. Richardson hacks it out of the air and misses a lot a bit of a waste in the end. I mean, he's trying for everything, as he so often does. Carroll moved back onto Richardson. Djakovic onto Ottens. So, the kick out to Cox. Hall with him. So, a couple of youngsters. Broderick, well done to Ottens. Ottens, little kick good. And a fine Zilla in the pocket. Distance a problem here for Zilla, Rob. He's not, a, he's not an overly uh, long kick, I don't think. No, the big fellas are getting back there. Richo's uh, thinking, well, this might land on the goal line, so he's back there. Important kick. They need it. Just a steadier here. It would take a very good kick from Zilla. She's not bad. He's oh. at the post. Oh, no. The breeze fading it away. It can fade out a bit, the Tigers, as we've told you. They've had some poor final terms this year. And they really need to hang tough here. Important kick out, it's essentially man on man, so there's no real zone. Just a chip in board, reasonably easy release there. There's not much to go for, it's reasonably static. So Cousins just sort of pushes it up to Cox, Campbell's big fly over the top. Hilton tried to toe poke, Colica did pretty well to rush it forward. Wapunda slapped out, in fact I think it was a throw coming from Rogers and picked as one. Well, they've won this quarter by nine points, the Eagles, to this stage. If they can continue on, it just gives them a chance because uh, 
We're certainly just edging closer. Next five minutes pretty vital in the context of the match, you'd reckon, wouldn't you? If they can keep Richmond goalless for the remainder of this quarter, they're in with the show. Well, Pundas kick almost a half forward. Gardner belted away. Holland's had a terrific match. Rogers' little kick doesn't go far. Williams forced to kick in a hurry. Tigers have got the numbers. Or Fiora copped a very high one free kick. Courageous. And I reckon he protected himself pretty well then. He knew the, the contact was coming and he just turned at the last split second just to cop it. Good yeah. play, good technique. Copped it on the body. He's still in a bit of trouble though. He's, he's a lightly built lad, but... Uh, he's hurt his collarbone, I think. Oh, Gee, no, he's he gone. Gee, it's shocking luck because it was his turn to put his body on the line for the cause and he's come off with a, a sore shoulder. Shocking. He had a broken foot last year, the youngster, so he's had a rotten run with injuries. Play Bam. on. Broderick, Wapunda, Broderick gets it back, he's got some time here, Campbell doesn't give Hall much space, but he did well Hall, then bangs only to Eagles though, oh, missed Mark, Wilson. Jeff Wilson, well he can take plenty, but he missed that one, Djakovic, good kick to Williams, if they get a goal Bruce, they go into the three quarter time huddle with a bit of momentum, they'll be a sniff for the game, Williams has kicked, now Tigers with numbers here, Holland gets back, takes a one hander, to Tawny. Now Chaffee's really short if he wants him. Dragosevic is wider. Goes to uh, Chaffee. Now well, Chaffee might bring it back into the centre here. I think he will. Finds Cameron. Good bloke to give it to. Runs his full measure. Good looking kick off the boot. Gets Hilton really wide here. Hilton goes back. Okay. To Hall. This is the important kick. And Hall's looks good off the boot and finds his target in Rogers. Rogers is a terrific kick. A little bit casual. Gee, that's uh, pretty ordinary, I reckon. Yeah, he'd be dirty on that because he is. Well, he's kicked it on the full. That that was the poise I was I was talking about from Richmond's point of view. Just someone to set a goal when they're about 60, 65 metre out, just to give Richmond an easy goal. Just to, it relieves a hell of a lot of pressure if you've got someone with the ability to do that. Isn't he a master at finding space, Chad Morrison? Just falling into some old habits here, the Tigers. Richardson poor kick from 50. Rogers poor kick from 50. Just not stinging on the scoreboard at the moment. They've had a chance to get six or seven in front here. Yeah, you talked about them earlier on just being able to nail sides and put them away, Bruce. They haven't done it. It's been their uh, perennial problem, I think. For Punda. Now, can the Eagles on the burst here? No, well done, Hilton. Second go finds Great the line. Play. He's been pinned, has he? Oh, That's oh. tough, I reckon. <laughs> tough call. You've got to have a feel for the game, don't you, Umpy? Had we'll put it all over him there, didn't he? And the Eagles have got Philip Matera, the only player in their forward 50. So if they can win this next kick after Wirrapunda, they'll find uh, Philip Matera in space. I like that. Jason Tawney would be a nervous man at the moment. It's hard to defend back there, I tell you. He's, he, he, he can make you look silly. He's one of those rare players that can make you look silly. If the Eagles wanted the half-time sign, I reckon the Richmond Tigers wouldn't mind it right now. It's a handy lead they've got. They hate with the Eagles to get another one. Cousins, well done. Umpire got in his road in the end. Zilla. Bowden, hardly a touch after being easily the best man on the ground in the first half. Spot up is for Rogers. Important ball here. Williams too good. And then quickly on to Peter Matera. He'll try and turn Tivendale here. He doesn't. He'll look for his brother. He'll look for his brother. Here he goes. Goes to him now. Good kick. Got him. Gee, that was good play. He just held onto the ball, Peter Matera. He waited for his brother. His brother pushed to the pocket on this side and then he cut back to where he's marked it. He and wrong-footed Jason Tawney. Yeah, he doesn't look confident, though, Phil Matera. When you see the player looking around with their eyes, you just know they're not confident with the set shot. Forced to go now. Committed to it. Looks good. good. Looks terrific. I reckon the most important goal of the match, that one. No doubt, no doubt. There was a lull in play for about five or six minutes. They kicked three or four quick ones in a row. A lull of play. And then we were saying the Tigers desperately needed to get one before three-quarter time. The Eagles got it. They'll come in with plenty of confidence at three-quarter time. They kicked the last five, the Eagles. It's interesting they still go persisting with uh, Wilson and Phil Matera out of the square. Just why not try, just isolate, just for a moment, just to see what happens. Matthew Rogers gone in for this centre bounce. He's a real hard nut. He'll be good in there. Tigers haven't kicked a goal since the very early stages of this quarter. And the Eagles have kicked the last five and they're steaming home. They've got a free kick here. 
for a high tackle. And there's still plenty of time for a tenth goal for the Eagles. What a comeback this has been. Well, each team's kicked their goals in bursts, haven't they? So Richmond's last goal, seven minutes into this quarter. Morrison going long and hard. Gardner, Philip Matera, Philip Matera looking for a free kick. Shepard, play on. Play on. And he's going to kick another one. <laughs> They've got to make a change, and I think Chaffee's the player who should go back. So the free kick for Shepard was it against the Tigers, and yeah. Matera's the only one to have read it. They called advantage, Bruce. But when you kick it deep like Morrison's done, I know it's to a bit of a pack of players, but it's just in a dangerous position. You've got Gardner down there committing. Matera's man's actually gone for the ball in the air then, and uh, smart, good forward pocket to stay on the ground and pick up the crumb. Well, you picked him at half-time, Ben. He's kicked four now, three in this quarter. I like him down there. Well, what an amazing quarter of football. 12-4 to 4-4 at one stage. And now the Eagles can't miss. They've kicked six without a miss. Well, I wrote them off at halftime. They've made me look silly. Well, you would have written them off at the seven-minute mark of this quarter, wouldn't you? Doubly. At 12 goals to four. Blow that siren the Tigers fans back in Melbourne are saying <laughs> quickly. Eagles with uh, more than a sniff. They can taste it. In fact, they are tasting it at the moment, and they love what they're tasting. Well, Fletcher runs it over for a boundary throw-in. Fiora is almost certainly out of the game. Bruce, his uh, shoulder's no good. Well, that's a cruel blow for a young man who looked like making his mark this year with the team. Was terrific against the Lions a couple of weeks ago. Broderick to Chaffee. Chaffee long, they're desperate for a mark and a goal. They might get to Richo, it hasn't. He's trying to search for it. Back it comes, Tivendale goes without it. Wasn't happening in the first quarter, was it? That was all clean, and now Matera's away to Wapunda. And the Eagles are going to go in at three-quarter time, walking on water, you reckon? Oh, look at the body language there. High five from Cox and Phil and Peter Matera. Pats on the back. The crowd's getting involved. They were silenced early, Rob, but they're back in this game. Well, they're well and truly alive, aren't they? And isn't that a great sight here at Subiaco, looking down on pretty much a full house? But not for young Adam Fiora. But that was the man, wasn't it? The set shot, just the second last goal was the crucial one. And Philip Matera's kicked four. In fact, he's kicked four goals, two, and one out of the bounds on the full. An amazing turnaround here. West Coast with six consecutive unanswered goals. Ten goals, four, to 12 goals, five. They've turned a 48-point deficit at the beginning of this quarter into a 13-point one, and this game is up for grabs. High stakes here. They were before the match. More than high, I reckon, now, because of the way this match has been played. OK, we've got a big game coming up here. Big last quarter, as we've had on seven over 45 years of footy. 45 years of footy on seven. Proudly brought to you by Tui's New. 82,000 fans packed the MCG to pay homage to AFL legend Kevin Bartlett in round 19, 1983. The reason? KB's 400th appearance for the Mighty Tigers. He would retire at the end of the season after 403 games. A magnificent performance. To his new. Give that man a new. Blue likes what we ordered, wasn't it? We'll do the if you've ever taken on a big job around the house... Well done. It's on plaster and there are holes. You'll know that getting the right advice got to start with that, is yeah. what really it's saves your money. It's good value right. and there's a great range of colours. And a whole lot more. They're washable. Um, they come in a whole range of colours also. Because the only thing better than knowing you did it yourself is knowing how much you saved. It's hard work beating cigarettes with cold turkey. You're twice as likely to succeed with Nicorette. Beat cigarettes one at a time with Nicorette. F, F. Financial planning. See also investment services, superannuation, rollover. Why don't you try investment services? There's about four pages of them. Well, what's the first one? AAAA Aardvark Investment Services. Looking to invest, but don't know where to start? Start at square one. 
Call us on 132580. Make it happen. Two regular travellers, two private health plans. Both plans work at home, but when they go overseas, her cover travels with her at no extra cost. Well, she is entirely on her own. One of the other health funds, Australian Unity. The difference is limited cover versus a little extra care. So, who's looking after you? People seem to feel uncomfortable when you mention the word on television. In fact, you'd think that women didn't have at all. And God help us if we mentioned the word. But there is one thing I will mention. Cotton's Comfort's Ultra Thin Pads. They have a cotton cover sheet, which is great, because that way you have natural cotton instead of synthetics against you. Cotton's Comfort's. They're just more comfortable. To create exceptional performance. Design technology. Kumo. Imagine winning a block of land with a new Metricon home on it. Yes. So you'll never have to make a mortgage repayment again, ever. The $250,000 Smile for Life giveaway. Every day in your paper, The Herald Sun. Hi. Two couples. The pilot is a trained professional. A deserted island. He is the pilot. And temptation. So what are we, like shipwrecked? For a long time. Harrison Ford, Anne Hesch, David Schwimmer. Oh, God, what did I do? And how many times did I do it? Who will survive? Pardon me? What'd you say? When there's only one way off. I'm sorry. Are you kissing me? For this. The premiere comedy adventure, six days, seven nights, Sunday on Seven. Seven's football telecast. Proudly brought to you by Two E's. McDonald's. Mac your day. And Mitsubishi Motors. Wilson on the lead. Matira, the man at the moment. Have a go. He's at 50. Centering ball's a beauty to fall forward. Well done, though, by uh, Knox. Three. Oh, gee, Fox is very kick, is it? Lots of free kicks. Just kick the goal, is he? Yes, they're coming back hard. Richardson with four on the uh, right hand side. Bowden and Rogers, they had theirs to half time. Matira was the man. Three goals in that quarter, 10 4 to 12 5. Let's go down with Barra with Guy McKenna. Thanks, Bruce. Yes, Bluey, great comeback. Who was crucial? I well, mean, I think all the boys were just a cannibal. It's the first time we've been a cannibal tonight. Hopefully, we can finish them off. In your area of expertise, the back line is Richo and Ottens. They were worrying you there for a while. Oh, they were, but the boys settled down that quarter, and again, they were body on body, and that's all we can hope for. Bill Matera, he bobs up, doesn't he? Yeah, when, when we need a goal, he does bob up. He's handy. Good on you, Blue. Back to you, Bruce. Thanks, Barra. Well, he's been more than handy. I wonder who's got him. There's. Uh... Stephen Zilla has gone down to take Philip Matera and Joel Bowden's gone down as a spare man in defence so uh, I don't know, I don't know if I like that I think he's got Morrison Otten's out of the centre well takes them on does what he did last week with the one hand bounce and then kicks the full forward oh, oh great Mark Richardson the start they wanted because their confidence would have been down we saw Danny Frawley at three quarter time absolutely get into the Richmond charges he gave an absolute spray and, uh, well, they've sparked them up. They put all their guns in the middle. They've got Chaffee, who's been a, a pretty good player, though. He went out uh, of the game in that third quarter, I thought. He's had 20 possessions. Um, and they've got uh, Duncan Callaway started that quarter in the, in the centre square. So a couple of their guns in the action. And Richo back off the long run. <laughs> they became wasteful, the Tigers, in the third quarter. They need a goal here. They need a fifth goal from Richardson. Uh, it's coming oh. back. It's a goal. <laughs> that was the in-swinger, Bruce. <laughs> Tell you what, it didn't go through very high either. West Coast will be disappointed they didn't have someone back on the line, I think. Yeah, they would have been able to touch that. It was amazing. He absolutely miskicked that, and uh, it's moved about three metres from left to right in the air, a bit like me off the tee. Well, he's kicked five. He's got one in each of the quarters. It's a good effort, and a couple in the third. Well, just the ideal start. The ideal start for the Tigers and uh, Matthew Richardson, five goals under his belt. It just gives them breathing space, doesn't it? But uh, you reckon the West Coast are going to come on here. They've worked too hard to get back. 
Cousins to Taylor. Bitterskin front spot. Good mark. Williams has been a very good player for West Coast with 10 marks. Bitterskin wide. Otten's the target. Too big, too tall. Takes the mark on Cox. He takes pressure off, doesn't when he can have a ruckman run out to the wing and basically take an uncontested mark. Otten's not a good kick off the boot, but oh, terrific mark. Not sure if it was absolutely intended there for Chaffee. He could well kick this too, Bruce. He, he's a lovely kick of the ball. Gee, what a night he's had. Mm. Very impressive. Underrated. I tell you, when you look at Richmond on, on paper, you, you always think about Knights and Campbell and Daffy when he's playing. Chaffee's the one that gets under opposition's guard. Ten marks, 20 possessions. Passes it off, Bruce, to Campbell. Got him out wide. You'd almost give him that, I reckon. If, he, if he's good enough to kick it from there, you can, you can say, yeah, good kick, mate, because uh, I reckon Chaffee was in a more dangerous position. He should have taken a shot. Well, he's uh, had a good night, Wayne Campbell. This would really make it a splendid night so far. It's the old captain's goal, isn't it? It is, and I, and I reckon that'll be going through his mind, Bruce. He'd be thinking, if I can put this one through, I'll really set my team up. Kicks from 50. Not bad. Just across the face, though. The percentages were always against him. Through from behind. But young Mark Chaffee, about five or six years ago, he went to America to try out in pro baseball. And uh, hadn't played a lot of football as a junior, but the last couple of years has just blossomed. It's his 23rd consecutive match for them tonight. I reckon he just really feels like he's part of it now. Mm. He's a, almost a, a given selection, which he wouldn't have felt at any other in any other season. Nice Peter kick. Matera yep. to Cox. So the Eagles, uh, three and a bit goals down here, but remember they kicked six goals, unanswered goals, in the third quarter. Cox to Williams, ten marks tonight. Down to Fletcher. Kicked an important goal in the third quarter. Chaffee. Had a wonderful night. Back to Andrew Killaway. Now Campbell wants it short. He's not going to go to him. It's not a good kick, actually. Tawny makes a contest. Brave effort by Drew Banfield. They're the ones that you just hate. You've got to go for them, and you know that it's coming down high and slow. You've just got to stand your ground. So only Chambers and Pryor left for the interchange to come back. Yeah. Not, mu not much options there for, uh, for Ken Judge. He hasn't got a lot of flexibility on the bench. Campbell. Chaffee might have been a bit stiff though the umpire was on the blind side and probably made a good call there. Ben are you surprised that Cox has been given so much ruck work Gardner playing at centre half forward? Yeah he was a goal kicker for them last week though uh, Walsley with five and I just think they've got marking forwards on the half forward line they've got Gardner down there with Williams. Kicked four of those goals in the last quarter too uh, mm. Ben and I think Cousins got his two goals in the last quarter as well. Yep. Ten possessions he had to. They would love for a return like that. If they can get four or five goals from those two, they can win. Well, that's what they need. They need someone like uh, Cousins was last year, last week in the last quarter. He was dynamic. He just set the win up for them. Ben Holland at centre half forward for Richmond. He's he's had an interesting night. He spent uh, half of it at centre half back, half at centre half forward. Ottens oh, just trying to lay it down. These 50-50, these uh, set plays are so important now. Who gets the breakaway? I like, I've liked the, the game tonight, though, Bruce, because there's been a lot of one-on-one -on -one contests around this, and I, I think uh, it's just been enjoyable to watch. Just get back to the old-fashioned uh, grunt footy one-on-one. -on -one. Eagles have got three forwards practically on the goal line. Body on body here, trying to get it away. Banfield, Knights, just off the ground and running it out, Fletcher, for a boundary throw in. It's a real arm wrestle down here, Bruce. I can tell you, Fiora on the Richmond bench, Fiora's out of the game, but they've got Broderick, Hall and Brendan Gale. So they've got a bit more to play with, haven't they? Broderick for pinch hitting, late goals against Collingwood last week and a couple of tools to come on to give Ottens the, the spell when he needs to go forward. High tackle. They had to get a free kick soon because we'd had too many ruck contests in a row, so they had to give a free. Cousins to Kemp. Kemp, wide, just wanting someone to run hard onto it. The bounce favoured Chaffee. Dragosevic the kick. Got him. Gee, Chaffee's nearly the best player on the ground at the moment, isn't he? I mean, it was Bowden's first half. Quickly on. Knights would love a big last quarter. Good kick. Danger signs here. Tiffendale quickly. Just rushed it a bit. Richo, I don't think he'll get there. He does. Left oh. foot. Clever. Well done. Rogers gets the goal. That's a great bit of play by Matthew Richardson. Good day, buddy. Getting better, George.
Thanks for fixing my chair, George. Oh, now that's taste. How can one man have so much talent? So four to Rogers, five to Richardson, three to Bowden. And the Tigers have got the all-important first two goals in the first seven minutes of this final term. It's exactly what they did, Wolsey, at the start of the third quarter. This is more crucial, obviously. And the Eagles responded with six unanswered. That's what they need now to get back into the match, you'd think. Bitterscombe hurried it a bit to Duncan Kellaway. Knights had a terrific last quarter against Brisbane a fortnight ago when they wanted him. Would want something similar. Tivendale, Kellaway, Duncan. He's got his brother wide. Yeah, there's a couple loose, Bruce. Bad signs for the Eagles' point of view. Andrew Kellaway's kicked to half forward. Oh, good mark in the front, Ottens. He's just starting to control Cox. Cox is looking at Ottens. Ottens is attacking the football. Once you start looking at your opponent, you're in trouble. Richardson went short. Ottens is going for goal. He's kicked it pretty well right there. Hilton's marked it on the line. It was going to go through, I reckon, but Hilton had to go for it. And terrific body strength by Rory Hilton. He just pushed against his opponent and at the last split second just gave that extra push, pushed his opponent out of the way, came back, took the ball as he was falling to ground. Put him on a tight angle. That's the secret, though. You've got to work your opponent early in those one-on-ones, don't you, Rob? If you do that, you, you can gain an advantage physically and then when the ball's only a couple of metres away, you can throw yourself at it. Gee, it is, a, is it one of those parts of our game that you find hard to believe. He's marked it on the line, put on the angle, but he's kicked it. Well, do you reckon they're safe? Well, the way the game's gone, I'd say no, because teams have kicked goals in bursts. You know, we've had the Eagles kick six goals just before three-quarter time. Tigers have come out and kicked the first three goals. So uh, it's, it's the way that the game's gone. I reckon it's pretty important that the Eagles get the next one, though. Otherwise, I think it could be all over. Richmond get the next goal. They're home. Not completely unlike last week. I know the scores were much closer last week, but both Dockers and the Eagles mm. dominated for periods of time, didn't they? Yeah, they kicked uh, a lot of goals on the trot, both sides. Well, the Eagles now must make a stand. As Wolsey said a moment ago, if the Tigers get the next one, they'll win. They'll probably win anyway, but you still give the Eagles some hope because of the way goals have been scored Wilson. tonight. Oh, oh, came up high. I think he got into the back of his own man in Williams. <laughs> he did. Back to Tivendale. Split him open again, though, didn't he? Tiffin Day wide. Ottens looking good. Had a very good last quarter, Brad Ottens. Chaffee. Wants a Richardson. Just through the fingers. He's having a big match, though, Richo. Playing it in front. Playing it in front. Just threw it away a bit, though. And not to the advantage. And Matera comes away. This is Peter Matera. The kick to Williams. Gee, he's picked himself up after Wilson just about <laughs> destroyed him a moment ago. Him. I reckon you know he did, he did it too, don't you? Again. Oh, Kellaway, that's Duncan. Wilson was coming at him. Morrison's handball. Cousins, well played, Gasper. They've got a hole firm here, the Tigers. They're hard at it, uh, the Eagles. Free kick to the Tigers. And he got that free kick through sheer desperation, Duncan Kellaway. But just from Wilson attacking the ball, he just creates an atmosphere where really a ball going into the 50, nothing would not ordinarily happen. But just because he attacks the ball, he splits it open, he creates something from nothing. Tawny to Cameron. Well, I thought a terrific kick. No, it's because couldn't find it. Boundary throwing Kemp off. Chambers on. Says something about Kemp's fitness, doesn't it? Yeah, he's uh, just not match hardened at the moment. Simple as that. Well, the Eagles need a goal very quickly here. They just need to get something to happen, as they did in the third quarter. They've got to get it to Philip Matera. Little kick by uh, Banfield. Not out. Knights. Still not out. Play to Cameron. Now, he's got Richardson long. He's kicked it deep and a bit wild and woolly, and Chambers has taken the mark. Comes away. Taylor leads for him. Second bounce. Long kick, not all that good actually, the kick. Andrew Kellaway, well played to Bitterscombe. Free kick to the Tigers, and it's going to come back I think. 
Just a big ask of Michael Gardner to play centre-half forward on a big ground like this. Like, he, he is a ruckman, but uh, I think they're just killing him out there at centre-half forward. Bowden to Chaffee. It did work last week, Wolves. He, he had this huge last quarter, didn't he? Rogers, Wapunda, getting back Cousins. Back to Wapunda. Gee, the Tigers have done well when you think that Peter Matera and Wapunda really haven't hurt them down back, have they? Coming out of the back line. Back we go. Some pressure now on Carroll. Richardson, almost. Chambers away, only as far as Callaway's kicked it to him twice in the last quarter. Going into this game, uh, Peter Matera and Wirrapunda were in the top four rebounders in the competition from uh, taking it out of defensive 50. Here's a chance for the Tigers. Wonderful kick by Cameron. And Rogers could seal the Eagles' fate with this shot for goal about 40 metres out. Tightish angle, but uh, the way he's kicked it tonight, you'd back him. Well, he's an opponent of one of the best re rebounders. Uh, there is always potential with we Wipunda. I mentioned it earlier, to kick goals on him. I reckon the pressure from guys like Rogers, Chaffee has been down there just on on, uh, on Wipunda, and Peter Matera has been good, and it's uh, lessened their impact on the game. Going for fifth goal. It's coming back again. Coming back. It's a goal. There is... Mitre 10 understands that getting the right advice when and where you need it can save you a lot more than money. I'll tell you when it's level. I'll hold it. That's why we've introduced the Mitre 10 advice line. 136310. So now you can call any day and get expert on-the-job solutions that will save you time, money and even face. I'm going to have to chisel a bit off the other one. Accuracy is pretty impressive here, 16-6 to 10-4. Yes, the Tigers started off kicking accurately. I think they were 6-0 at one stage. Bowden, such a big first half to set up the lead early to half forward. Dragosevic, quiet night. Cousins, been pretty good. Djakovic, good tackle by Campbell. They put the pressure on the Tigers, they've done really well here. Holland did extremely well. Tawny would be a lot happier up there to Tivendale. Tivendale with a long, hard, high, wonderful forward. Richardson gets rid of his man. Free kick. Tigers have shot. 50. It'll be 50. Ooh, it's his second one. I think it might be his third, to be truthful. I think, oh. he, I think he cost him the second one as well in the first quarter. He's not happy with himself, but just clearly the uh, Richmond dominance, mainly in the air, 15 marks to four in this final quarter. Yeah. Well, Troy Wilson, uh, he's threatened, but he really hasn't taken control at any stage of this game. It's amazing, I reckon, he hasn't been tried out at centre-half forward. Just on the on the full forward line, basically all night. It's a free kick here for hanging on, right down to centre-half forward. So, right. the, the Eagles, after Richardson pushes in the back and takes a mark at full forward, the Eagles, without a kick, get it down to Taylor at centre-half forward. And I think it was against Mark Chappie. He had uh, just grabbed hold of the jumper. Three umpires, they're going to find that. Go short to Chambers. I just think, Ben, changing your ruckman at centre half forward. Hey, just going to rub Wallsy. the guts out of him. Sorry to interrupt. They're taking Richo off. Well, I think this they're probably getting tired of the 50 metre penalties. He's not happy either. Well, essentially, he's cost him a goal. If uh, if Chambers, young Chambers, can uh, dob this one. So Hall comes on. I just think it kills the two young ruckmen when they go off the ball to go to centre-half forward because you've got to work so hard. We're right behind Chambers. It's coming back, coming back, holding its line. Has it got the distance? No. Hilton, boundary throw in. Just back to Richard for a moment. He's played a great game. Yep. You reckon he had to know that that whistle had gone. He'd had a long time before he kicked the goal. He's been doing it for a long while. I hope Danny Frawley has a chat to him and puts him back on the ground. He had a chat on the phone just then. I don't, know how, I don't think it went too well. <laughs> <laughs> it's love-hate relationship, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Kellaway, Andrew, towards Chaffee, and he runs it over the line. I had a few chats to him on the phone too when I was coaching Richmond, and no, it didn't work. <laughs> well, he's getting ready to come back, so that's a good move, isn't it, by Frawley? I think that's terrific. That's good coaching, and I think Matthew would appreciate that because he's given a chance to come back on. Ottens, Gardner... Fletcher, G. Hilton did well then. Philip Matera, and then Hilton robs him. Zilla, Knight, Cameron, with him, Colica, well played, Cameron, to Duncan Kellaway, quickly onto the boot, and actually gets some distance 
to centre wing, worked under the hall. And Carroll's got it. Well, he just worked out it's a bit easier to mark against than, uh, than Richardson Hall. Short to Pryor. Never going to be a star, I don't think, Pryor, but he's a steady one, isn't he? Peter Matera to Cox. Pryor to Cox. And get away to Carroll. Wide, Wilson unopposed, or Gasper fell over. Wilson will be disappointed. Just misjudged it, didn't he, in the end? To Cameron. Keeps it down low. Good mark taken by Carroll. He's enjoyed a purple patch in the last couple of minutes. <laughs> well, he's had three possessions in the last 60 seconds, and good on him because he's had a tough ass tonight. He's had to play on Richardson, Ottens, and Gale. With McIntosh, uh, the late withdrawal. Peter Matera, wonderful kick. Beautiful kick. I wonder how long he would have known that McIntosh wouldn't have been uh, playing tonight, Trent Carroll, whether he had uh, enough time during the week to perhaps prepare to some for someone like Richardson. Yeah. Well, he's kicked one, uh, Troy Wilson. He's had a pretty ordinary night, to be truthful. He split a few packs. He's dropped too many marks. He's gone under the ball several times. He's, uh, his judgment's been astray. Wouldn't you love to see someone on the goal line back there? They've got uh, Philip Matera leaning on, uh, on his knee. Wilson's kick. Looks pretty good. He's kicked his second. The Mitsubishi BRX is the quickest Magna ever. With a 163 kilowatt, 3.5 litre V6, and sports mode transmission. The Mitsubishi Magna VRX goes like a shot. It is Mitsubishi. Well, it's been a, such a peculiar match, but you'd reckon they're too far back at five goals. Eagles have only got three players in at this bounce. Ottens, Gardner won it. Cousins, they were able to almost get it away. Chambers had it to smother Taylor up and under. Oh, well played, Tiffin Dale. That was a good mark. You think that was by design? No, I think that was disarray. Mm. Tiffin Dale finds Ottens. He's got Hilton wide on our side. That's uh, the nearest side of the camera. Ottens had a terrific last quarter. That's Ooh. against Tawny, I think. Just a block off the footy. I reckon uh, Tawny just held his ground then. A bit tough. So in the last four or five minutes, the Eagles have actually been uh, rewarded with a couple of strange old kicks. Maybe they've earned them, but a bit different anyway. Jakovic to Gardner. Still he ran 50 hard, metres. He? Yeah. 50 metres to get that mark. I really admire this young fella. Number one draft pick in 96. A kick to set up on Wilson on the big long lead. Doesn't take, take the footy. Kellaway. Knights. His first instinct's always to handball back in the back line, isn't it, for Richmond? Hilton. Outman then. Collica did well. To Ben Cousins. They get another quick goal here. Wilson. Uh, rather, uh, Williams, I should say. Williams to the pocket. Philip Matera. Ottens has had a terrific last quarter. Had a big second quarter too when they imposed themselves the Tigers. Yeah, right. They're asking a bit much for Phil Matera to mark it over, over, uh, over Brad Ottens there. It was two on one against and... Uh, Zilla, his opponent, and Otten's just dropping back. There's no way he's going to take that. Right forward pocket. Still about 35, 40 metres away. Chaffee's handball to Bowden. Well done. Squeezed it out. Dragosevich couldn't quite hold it there. Then Gardner drops it. Pretty good tackle. Well played, Dragosevich. Throw, was it? Well, it sort of came out awkwardly. He stiffed Dragosevich because he really played well against the odds there. Gardner between centre wing and half forward. Eagles desperate to try and get a run on here with a couple of quick goals to give themselves a bit of a sniff. Wilson's got the mark. Just has to kick it. They have to kick everything here. Yeah, he's, he, he, distance definitely isn't a problem, Bruce. I actually think he prefers the ones when he's got a... I think he thinks about it a bit too much when he's got those set shots 35 metres out. I think he's a bit more comfortable out here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he can kick this. Well, the Tigers have given up some big leads in the last quarter this year, but uh, surely not tonight. They were six goals in front two or three minutes ago. Wilson, oh, oh it's a shocking-looking kick. <laughs> Ottens keeps it in. That was an absolute Ooh. flower bag. <laughs> Terrific play by uh, Tivendale. Purposeful handball to Broderick, coming from Chaffee, boundary throw-in. Ben, you've got to tell me what a flower bag is. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look it up on the website, i7sport.com.au. It'll appear there, Ben. Is it like a helicopter punt? <laughs> exactly. She was a, uh, a shocker, wasn't it, from the moment it left the boot. Campbell's been good. Kellaway to Knights. Well, I thought it was a good kick. Well, it was in the end. Tawny goes to full forward. Richardson's got it. Well, it's it's a no. smart play by yeah. Tawny then. Smart play here that had to go for goal or release it straight away. If you'd taken one bounce, looks like Campbell's running for him, but Richo's going to have a shot, but he's just released that ball at the perfect time. It was it was very good play. I tell you what, Wayne Campbell, different role for him tonight. He's worked very, very hard in the clinches. Normally I would have thought he's a bit of a, a link player, but I've uh, been impressed with his game inside. No Tigers ever kicked six goals against West Coast. We saw that graphic. Richo's got six. Yelena Dockett and that dad at it again. They've turned their backs on Australia. There's no one bothering you and uh, you can just do anything you want here. And we're still copying a serve. They've assaulted me and my family a lot. We go inside the Dockett bunker. Plus, the ugly neighbour. That's disgusting. When he moved in, land values dived. We've got the worst house right across from us. Now he'll go if the price is right. And the ultimate washing powder test, separating the best from the rest. Next week on Today Tonight. Six for Richo. I reckon Tawny would be a bit happier too. It was a good bit of play by him, wasn't it? Yes, uh, and good to see him come into the play in the last quarter because he was getting stressed out at full back on Philip Matera. Cousins to Kerr. Just uh, off the side a bit. Wilson runs hard. So does Andrew Kellaway. Jeez, uh, that, that just shows the strength of Wilson now. That's a, a body slam on Andrew Kellaway. And Andrew Kellaway's as tough as they come. He knows he's got to come off. He's off straight away. That's amazing, isn't it? Gee. He's a lethal weapon, isn't he, Wilson? <laughs> he Glad really we're is. Up here. Pryor. Kemp. He needs a few... Uh, Runs Kemp, doesn't he? What a wonderful player he is and has been, but he's just short of match fitness at the moment. Cameron. Campbell's been a good captain tonight. He's played well. He's been terrific. He's been in and under. He's earned a lot of hard ball and uh, something like 29, 30 possessions. Good performance. He's not noted around the league as, as a good inside player, um, Rob, but um, he's tackling his work rate, his second efforts has been good and he's been assigned. Well, Banfield was clearly assigned to him early in the match, so he uh, had a tag. Just pops it up for Ben Holland. Almost, Banfield, back to Gardner. Now Gardner sort of unloads towards Wilson, can't get a run, well done Hall. Or rather it was Williams, I should say, who was trying to get it. Zilla to Tawny. Knights is on. Yeah, got Knights free on the wing. Cameron may not use him, he may run it himself. He's trying to draw Cousins to him to give it to Knights. He's going to go to Richardson now. At the back, Kellaway. Knights with him now. Duncan Kellaway, not the best finisher you've ever seen. Kicks towards goal. Rogers will put in there. Good mark, was it? What Wapunda. a wonderful mark. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Banfield. To Matera. Good kick. Williams. He's I've liked his game. Yeah, been very, very good. Back to Matera. Pops it up to yeah. centre half forward. <laughs> Philip Matera's at the back. Still Philip Matera. Could tackle Zilla. Yeah, he's actually got the speed to turn Zilla with him, hasn't he? Which was interesting there. Wayne Campbell. 31st oh, possession. Rory Hall. Face. Ray Hall, I should say, from Moy Woy, calling him Rory Richo. 13 marks, Bruce. Well, he's uh, been a huge match for him. Rogers has been a wonderful player. Beaten Wapunda. Tivendale. They claim a free kick. It's still coming out. Good umpiring ball up. I reckon Richardson's played under a little bit of duress as well. He, he doesn't look free and he copped it early, so it's a sign of uh, a pretty hardened player to continue on and, and be a, a real match winner for the Tigers tonight at playing under... I reckon a bit of, he's copped a bit of a cork, I think. Well, it's been 14 long years for the Tigers. They played the very first match against the West Coast Eagles in 87. And they haven't won here. Broderick, Dragosevic, spent it before he had it, gets it back, but he puts Tivendale under enormous pressure. Kemp 
Now, I reckon, Wolsey, this is one of the big wins for the Tigers. Oh, they'll enjoy this one, Bruce. And we just saw there again two examples where they handball away from their goal just to set themselves up. They do it very well because the player who they eventually free up has got time and space. They've got the Kangaroos and the Bombers in the next two weeks in Melbourne. Well, we'll see how good they are. That's a great uh, challenge for them. They're four and one and looking good. Bowden good to Hall to Chaffee. Chaffee measures it wide to Holland. Holland and Djakovic beats them out of play. Bruce, just an update on Andrew Calloway. Uh, Plugger Wilson landed on his ankle and it's not too good. She, he's a, he's a dangerous opponent, that Plugger Wilson. <laughs> I'm just looking down on the boundary line there, Barra. Peter Matera looked up at the coach and said, I'm ready to go back on. Campbell <laughs> out of the air. Bangs it to full forward. Belted it away by Gardner. Boundary throw in. Gee, he has been consistent. A, a great game from Campbell. He's had eight nine seven and eight possessions over the four quarters so just consistent th throughout it's quite remarkable thought he got a lot early too out of the center when they needed it just to impose themselves on the game haven't been headed all night bowden what a terrific first half hooking it back to full forward richardson oh. we're putting as only he can do against the flow Forced over for Oberheim. He's a brave player, David Wilkund. I saw him last week with McManus, and they both mm. uh, had, a, had a really strong collision. And, uh, well, he's not lightly framed now. He's got some muscle on him. You can see there he's a strong young fella. But, uh, again, a player who's just coming on in leaps and bounds. Terrific win. A breakthrough win for the Tigers. Their first ever considering that for 15 minutes they coughed up six goals in the third quarter take those out they kick 17 to 5 in the other two make that three and a half quarters that's a bit of domination isn't it oh look they were challenged and uh as happens in afl footy you can't be dominant very often for the entire game they were challenged it, west coast eagles got back on track but just to steady and richardson in that last quarter just steady and he was great well, he certainly was with his six goals, and I think he's with our Adrian Barrett right now. Barra, Richo, you've got him, mate. Yeah, we have got him. Funny game, Richo, but a good win. Yeah, it was a, it was a good win in the end. We probably uh, let him back into the game in the uh, third quarter, and they really put up a good showing. And uh, we managed to regroup in the last quarter, but uh, yeah, we've got to stop these uh, little lapses. Six goals from you. Were you carrying an injury? No, I wasn't carrying an injury. Uh, yeah, I felt good tonight, and just happy to get a, another game under me belt. And what did you think when you knew Ashley McIntosh was out? You thought, this is my night? No, I didn't think that. Uh, yeah, Trent's a good young player. You know, he's a great player, McIntosh, obviously, so he's not playing and it's better for us. Pretty frustrating, those 50 metres sometimes, aren't they? Yeah, I let myself down a bit with them tonight. Uh, at least we've had a win and something for me to work on. You got rid of the hoodoo, though. 14 years it's taken to win over here, so it is significant. And three in a row, it sets up your year, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a good start for us. Hopefully we can go on with it now. We've been working pretty hard, and, yeah, it's a good start. Good on you, mate. Thanks, thanks. for joining us on Channel 7. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Barra. Good stuff there with uh, Matthew Richardson. Six goals tonight. Terrific effort. A lot of Tiger supporters here, Bruce. They, they're really enjoying it. They certainly are. Don't go away. We'll be back with plenty more. 39-point win to the Tigers, their first ever against the West Coast in Perth. Mitre 10 understands that getting the right advice when and where you need it can save you a lot more than money. I'll tell you when it's level. I'll hold it. That's why we've introduced the Mitre 10 advice line. 136310. So now you can call any day and get expert on-the-job solutions that will save you time, money and even face. I'm going to have to chisel a bit off the other one. Mitre 10 you more. Get online with AOL and our unique welcome screen will make finding what you want on the internet easy. From news and weather, to money, even love. Some internet companies just sign you up and leave you to it. But with AOL, we help you find your way around. To get online, call now on 1800 265 265 or visit aol.com.au. Ooh, what a base, huh? Hash brown triangles. Mmm. 
Should have called them Bermuda Triangles. Yeah. Introducing Bird's Eye Crunchy Hash Brown Triangles. Thanks, Mum. I remember using a board from an apple box and I used to see how many times I could hit the ball against the wall, one bounce only, and then write down the highest score by the end of the day in the ground and come back the next day and try and better that. A small girl pits herself against a wall of odds that few champions have ever known. Yvonne Dooligan. All Australians celebrate as Yvonne's will carries her to two Wimbledon crowns. Few people realise what a strong will to achieve I've always had. And now I have another will to achieve, my last will and testament. I've included the salvos in my will to help all Australians who battle against poverty, homelessness and hunger. If you want to include the salvos in your will, or already have, call now. Yeah, 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 our horse came in third. Yeah, we're still taking the boat out. Look, that's my half hour. Here's my... Daniel? Hello, Mum. Telstra Homeline yeah, Plus customers can now call overseas using 0018. Pay for the first half hour and get the next half hour block absolutely free. That's a free half hour to talk to anyone in over 230 countries. Yeah, Mum, the T-shirt came in real handy. Another great option from Telstra. The Mitsubishi VRX is the quickest Magna ever. With a 163 kilowatt, 3.5 litre V6, and sports mode transmission, the Mitsubishi Magna VRX goes like a shot. I think it's fair to say one of their very good wins under Danny Frawley in the uh, last season and a bit. And speaking of Danny, he's down with Adrian Barrett right now. Thank you, Bruce. Yes, Spud's joined us and uh, the, sa the song just sounds great, particularly when you're on the road and in Perth, breaking the hoodoo. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know about the hoodoo. Um, we've got a, young, a lot of youngsters haven't played West Coast over here, so I don't think you'd pin um, the hoodoo on a lot of these youngsters. Uh, great character, I thought. Uh, you know, we outplayed them all night. They... Um, really got back into the game in the third quarter. We're only two goals up. We haven't been finishing off games that well as a team. And uh, yeah, there was, listen, there was uh, one of those things at three quarter time, we just shouldered arms and thought, well, we're not gonna go down defending. We've just got to get on the front foot again and really uh, have a real crack at it. So, you know, all credit to the boys. Danny, is this almost like two wins when you come to Perth and win like this? Oh, no doubt, no doubt whatsoever. I think the West Coast Eagles or Fremantle or any interstate side is a, is a an eight point game and uh, you know we won four out of five last year and I think the boys really enjoy just getting together and breaking up the routine and, and really coming out and play some terrific footy which they did at times tonight. Now Richo was good today though you did take him off the ground and have a chat to him about the 50 metres that seemed to work well too? Oh well listen uh, we'll, we'll talk about the positive I think at this stage I think that he was sensational for us no doubt there was a few instances there that um, he has to rectify I think we all know what they are but uh, I need to talk about the positive at this stage and we'll hopefully uh, get that out of his game very soon. And just almost finally, what does it mean, three wins in a row? Does it just set the year up for you? Oh, a little bit. Yeah, I think that um, it's a very even competition and uh, there's going to be a lot of win-loss, win-loss, win-loss throughout the year. And if you can put three or four together um, in certain stages, it, it does set your year up. And we've had a good start. But the only way to capitalise on it is keep winning. Did you, did you know Ashley McIntosh was going to be out of the side? Listen, I, I watched the game last week and I, I saw that he did hurt himself and he went back on the ground and probably wasn't running as freely. Uh, and listen, that's a huge loss to them. Uh, it was a, a bonus for us with Ottens and, uh, and Richo being able to play down there at times. And, you know, he's a quality player, quality defender. And, uh, yeah, listen, we, we had to capitalise on it. I think, uh, you know, to look three weeks ago when Silvani, Bradley and uh, Kurtafides didn't play, we had to make sure that we really made 
um, hey, well, the sun shines with McIntosh not down there. Danny, congratulations. Three straight wins. You've got the hat trick, and uh, but you can't wait for the rest of the season. Bruce, back to you. Good on you, Barrow, with Danny Frawley. First of eight matches on Friday nights for the Tigers, and they've got uh, two of the next three. Philip, we saw Richo a moment ago, how important it was. Philip Matera nearly did the trick, didn't he, for the West Coast Eagles in the third quarter? He was just terrific. Uh, he's a real live wire. He's slippery. He can take an overhead mark. He's second and third efforts. He's tackling. He's just the complete package, and uh, he's made himself into a really good player, was able to kick four goals for the Eagles, and uh, really gave them a chance. At three-quarter time, they were a chance to win. That was an important one there, which gave them a real run, and he got another one. A lot about matchups tonight, and just getting them right. Well, Punda and Rogers turned out to be the one for the uh, for the Tigers. Rogers with five goals. It was a great contest. I thought Matthew Rogers uh, really worked away. He's got he's a bit stronger than David Wirrapunda, but at times Wirrapunda got the footy and ran away. But uh, this fellow here, Matthew Rogers, he's as brave as they come. He was their leading goal kicker last year with Richardson out with injury, and uh, every now and again he goes onto the ball into the centre square and gives one. Campbell a breather but uh, we'll just see here he's got the body strength on David Wirraponda and as the game progressed that strength came to the fore. Well they got 14 goals between three players, Bowden got three, Richardson six and Rogers got five. Turnovers for the Eagles really cost them, particularly early didn't it? It did and I think Ken Judge would be bitterly disappointed that uh, his players just couldn't hit targets. It was a perfect night for football and time and again we saw the Eagles miss targets as they went forward and uh, they've got a fair bit of work to do on their skills. Well, they've beaten St Kilda and Fremantle only so far this year, so the jury's very much out on them at the moment. No doubt about that, Bruce, but I reckon uh, people will be getting excited about the Tigers, and particularly the next two weeks when they play some real quality opposition. And Ottens is continuing to play well. No goals again tonight, but uh, he had terrific second quarter and a magnificent last quarter. I thought his last quarter effort was fantastic here. He won at the centre bounces. Uh, his boundary throwing work was really good, and uh, he's a player that they can go to. and just gives a contest. Like, for a big man, he's very quick. So you say they're exciting. We agree with that. Uh, they've won four, lost, uh, lost just the one. They kicked straight tonight. They did finish off a good team on their own patch, 17-7 to 11 four. So what do you think? Do you think they're, they're top six, top four material at the moment? Definitely top six material. And uh, I tell you what, their coach gave them one of the biggest revs we've seen for a long time at three-quarter time. And, uh, and they responded with a good last quarter. All of those goal scorers for Richmond were good, weren't they? Every one of them had major contributors. Here are the match stats, and uh, there's a huge imbalance on the right of screen. Well, that's right. And particularly the handballs. Uh, Richmond are handballing a lot, and we noticed a lot tonight. They handball backwards before they go forwards just to free a player up so he's got some space and time to deliver the footy well. Uh, their kicking was good. They hit targets and uh, there's no doubt that their school levels improved there. Centre breaks broke about even. I thought that uh, Gardner worked hard and so did Cox. Two young ruckmen who were going to be pretty good. But gee, the goal kicking accuracy wasn't that impressive mm. by both teams. No doubt about it. They've travelled well for Danny Frawley. They beat Brisbane in uh, Brisbane last year. They beat Sydney in Sydney. They beat Fremantle mm. here. They did lose to Port Adelaide. It was their only away loss last year, and they've won again here tonight. Well, they silenced the crowd early by getting off to those six straight goals, and that's always significant. And, uh, look, all of the Melbourne-based teams, they love to win their on-the-road games. It's like a double victory. It's like taking eight points home on the plane, is it? We'll take a break. Back with more, including the votes after this. It never rains, but it pours. Would you like to see an unusual handshake? Would you? Oh, we're dying. <laughs> Next on Time, Gentlemen, Please. Good night, buddy. Getting better, George. Thanks for fixing my chair, George. Now that's taste. How can one man have so much talent? You got to dig deep. You got to dig deep. deep. Think back. Remember when you were six and we took you to McDonald's for your birthday party? All the kids, all the fun. All for you, son. For you. Remember that day, son? Remember when someone stole your fries, but we never found out who? We never found out. It was him. You hear that bass? Woo! Oh, Get ready to party. Yeah, baby! Tomcat style. Oh, 
join us? <laughs> Revolution Studios presents... Let's swap some bodily fluids, baby. Tomcats. We're gonna need a mop in here! Now showing... It's so bad you had to stop. Get online with AOL and our unique welcome screen will make finding what you want on the internet easy. From news and weather... to money... even love. Some internet companies just sign you up and leave you to it. But with AOL, we help you find your way around. To get online, call now on 1800 265 265 or visit aol.com.au. AOL! If it's expert advice, all the right price, we've got it. To keep it clean or watch the big screen, we've got it. If you want the sound that's all around, we've got it. To feel that breeze or a fish to freeze. We've got it. The only decision, retro, retro vision. The only decision, retro vision. The blue likes what we ordered, wasn't it? Ordered the trim. If you've ever yeah, taken right. on a big job around the house... Well done. It's on plaster and there are holes. You'll know that getting the right advice... Got to start with that. ...is what really it's saves your money. It's good value right. and there's a great range of colours. And, and a whole lot more. They're washable. Um, they come in a whole range of colours also. Because the only thing better than knowing you did it yourself... ...is knowing how much you saved. Welcome back to Friday Night Football. Most of the crowd have left, probably about 38,000. You wrote an article in The Age this morning, uh, Wolsey, talking about end-to-end -end kicking and contested marks and the skill of marking. Well, Matthew Richardson was a person that you singled out, and tonight he didn't let you down with 13 marks. He, he, he's a big tease at times, isn't he? I mean, he could do anything on a football field. I'm waiting for the day he kicks 15 goals in a game. <laughs> it, it will happen, and I just hope I'm there to see it, because uh, obviously, you know, having coached him a few years back, he, he's a raw talent, but he is getting better. And I just thought tonight he gave away a couple of goals, most unselfishly. And uh, once that big fella gets in front, very hard to stop. He took 13 marks tonight, kicked six goals, gave a couple away, gave a few 50 metre penalties as well. But, uh, and he's doing it on, on a crook knee. Mm. So uh, good performance by Matthew Richardson, just strong overhead. Uh, and he's one of the kids in the old school yard who'd love to be going kick to kick. Boy, what about that kick? And you were pleased when Danny Foley pulled him off for the indiscretion and then let him come back on. I thought that was terrific. Mm. Good coaching. And, and Richo needed to come off because mm. I think he gave away three 50-metre penalties and he knows better than that. Well, did you get him into the 3-2-1? I did. Uh, I gave him one vote as it turned out. I ended up giving three votes to Mark Chappie. I thought his first half in particular was just brilliant. He had close to 30 possessions, penetrating left foot kick, set his teammates up and uh, just played four solid quarters. Brad Ottens, very impressed with his game tonight. Thought that he centre bounce ruck work was really good. He positioned himself at the boundary throw-ins and made Gardner reach over the top of him and he took marks playing across half forward. And Richo, well, he, he's, he's six goals, he's 13 marks, unselfish football. Um, I'm always a rat for blokes who kick goals because goals win your games and whilst he made a few blues, I thought his overall performance was pretty good. The AFL, in association with its premier partner, Carlton and United, proudly presents the 2001 Premiership season. So the Mitsubishi Player of the Year, Chaffee 3, 2 to Ottens and 1 to Richardson. There was a desperation about Richmond early tonight that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? That's right. Look, I'm sure that they wanted to create some history tonight, be the first time that they beat the Eagles over here. I thought that they were well led by Wayne Campbell. His leadership was really good. Uh, a consistent four-quarter performance, something like 8-9, eight, 8-9 nine, eight, nine possessions. And uh, I thought Duncan Calloway did a good job too on Ben Cousins. At the same time, Cousins did work hard to keep himself in the game. I guess they've got, also they've got Daffy to come back, who's a, who's a shoe-in, Burke and King, 
They've lost Fiora, the young fella, unfortunately, haven't they? That's disappointing. Uh, he showed a lot of courage to put his body on the line. Have a look at the desperation Terrific. of Duncan Callaway there. Just magnificent. And uh, I thought his brother played a pretty good game too. Darren Gasper's yet to hit his straps in the back mm. line, so they can definitely improve. And I thought Ray Hall, that tall, athletic left footer, when he comes on, he's, uh, he's good for the team. Jason Tawney did it hard tonight, he but uh, towards the end he got possessions in the midfield. Well, you add Daffy there and uh, maybe a uh, Clinton King to run with and, and, and uh, David Burke. This is a pretty powerful team at the moment. For West Coast, Cummings a problem with his injury. Miranda looks like he's out as well. Braun to come back and obviously McIntosh. Well, McIntosh was the big loss tonight. I still think had McIntosh played, they wouldn't have won the Eagles mm. because just all over, Richmond were too strong and too aggressive and in close in that last quarter when the game was in the balance, just too good. So Richmond season we thought could be shaped tonight we called it a defining match it certainly can be shaped in the next fortnight they've got the kangaroos on friday night next week at the mcg and i'm pretty sure it's essendon on a saturday at the mcg after that mm, well the the tiger fans it'll whet the appetite won't it but they're 4-1 at the moment and that's a wonderful way to start the year Next match is this weekend, so we've had two games. Oh, you can't forget Anzac Day, what a game that was. So tomorrow, it's, it's Carlton St Kilda, the Bulldogs, Hawthorne, Adelaide Kangaroos. What about the Saints? Robert Harvey seemingly in doubt. Camparelli, not sure if he'll play for Carlton, but he has been picked. Yes, uh, I'll be at that game. Looking forward to seeing Aaron Hamill return against yeah. his old team. No, yeah. So that'll create a lot of interest, but uh, I think Carlton will bounce back after last week's loss. Bulldogs, terrific backs to the wall. One last week, Hawthorne, the only unbeaten team in the competition. They get Nick Holland back. Yeah, I I think the Hawks will be too strong, but I saw Bulldogs last week against Brisbane. They were very good, uh, particularly at Colonial Stadium. Well, I'll be in Adelaide, and suddenly this has got a bit of uh, legs to it, this match. Both teams winning in similar circumstances. Got first quarter leads, shocking conditions against the odds, got their first wins for the year. The Crows versus the Kangaroos. Well, Adelaide at home, I've tipped them, but by gee, I saw the Kangaroos win in the wet down at Geelong last week, and Carey and Martin and Archer and Stevens, all the old firm were back and playing good footy. And then on Sunday, well, Lee Matthews has, has talked about the precarious position the Lions are in. They've got two home games, Fremantle followed by Geelong. Uh, the Dockers have played pretty good footy this year, but uh, it's a tough call for them. They've been thrashed in, at the Gabba in their last two occasions. Well, they have. I was actually down at the Dockers this morning, Bruce, and I saw their uh, training facilities and spoke to a few of their players, and uh, they're pretty keen.